now in Enforcement Directorate custody. Ladies and gentlemen, the Congress Party will have to pay 1,823 crore rupees as per their own claims. And this is because they were no longer exempted from tax due to a few shady, questionable cash deals. Now, that's what agency sources claim, that they were shady, questionable cash deals. And that's why they will have to pay 1,823 crore in taxes. Now, the Congress party, just before the elections, feels this is tax terror. They say they don't have money to fight polls. They say don't, they don't have money to travel from one constituency to the other to campaign. And this, even as many candidates, even within the Congress party, are even pulling out. Some are pulling out of the 2024 race, saying they don't have enough funds to fight the election. Take a look at the fight so far and then we debate. Closer to the 2024 Lok Sabha elections as ever and tension continues to simmer in the Grand Old Party. A day after Congress was slapped with a fresh IT notice of 1800 crore rupees. From Himachal to Kerala, the party is in a tailspin with protests erupting against the IT notice. Meanwhile, Congress leaders are recycling the same old worn-out rhetoric with Rahul Gandhi even making a veiled threat. If these institutions do their work, if the CBI does their work, if the ED does their work, then it will not happen. So they should also think about it. They are all doing it. That any day, the government will change the government of BJP. And then, what will they do? लोक सभा चुनाव के बाद जो केजरीवाल के साथ हुआ है, यदि इन लोगों की सरकार बन गई, तो ये देश के विपक्ष के नेताओं को बहुतों को तो मार देंगे, अधिकतर को जेलों में बंद कर देंगे। अब मैं देश की जनता से अपील करूँगा, यदि आप चाहते हैं देश में लोकतंत्र फांसी पर नहीं चढ़े, आपकी जिम्मेदारी बनती पचहत्तर साल के इतिहास में मैक्सिमम टाइम बाद में उन वो अपना असेसमेंट फाइल करना ही भूल जाएं मैं समझता हूं ये अपने आप में है ना अब जब उनको नोटिस आ रहे हैं तो वो कह रहे हैं अबे नोटिस का जवाब दीजिए ना पब्लिक में जाना प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करने में थोड़ा हो जाएगा जो इनकम टैक्स के विभाग है वो तो आपको एक नोटिस भेजेगा आप नोटिस का जवाब दीजिए whether Congress would get a much needed supreme relief or whether its cash crunch would deepen remains to be seen. Let's debate. Okay, joining us on the weekend debate are Sanju Arma, national spokesperson of the BJP. Shubrashta, political analyst, will be joining us live. She's not live yet. Pankaj Sharma, senior journalist and uh, former media advisor, the chief minister of uh, Madhya Pradesh, that is the former chief minister of Madhya Pradesh, Kamal Nath. Nikhil Jain, political analyst, leans towards the Congress party. Akash Deepani, political analyst, leans towards the Amadmi party. Neil Basu, an advocate and political analyst from Kolkata, and Suman Siraman, political analyst, completes the panel. Let me start with you, Pankaj Sharma. Pankaj Sharma, trick question. Trick question to you. Did you know of cash receipts allegedly, allegedly received from Kamal Nath, by Kamal Nath, is also under scanner? And do you know um, the amount? You know that amount that is being probed. I have some details that I've just received here, but I want to ask you whether that has anything to do with this 1,823 crore cash notice, tax notice to the Congress party. Now, do I know this? You should ask this to Mr. Kamal now. Do I know this? I thought I'd ask you because you have worked with Mr. Kamal Nath in the past, but let me put that question uh, to the BJP Sanju Varma. Sanju Varma, they're calling it tax terror, right? 1,823 and some leaders are still getting these notices. As of this morning, they said two more leaders have received this notice. Uh, 
And I can tell you that, you know, we've been covering the elections up close. Some leaders are complaining of the Congress party that there is no funds to fight the election. Is that your intent? You're trying to squeeze the money. <laughs> okay. Uh, Niranjan, in the last 24 hours, I've been on a zillion debates on this particular issue. Can't hear and you, sir. Can you unmute yourself? I haven't muted myself. I think there's a problem with the audio because yeah, I can yeah, hear I can, the I can echo. Hear, we can hear you now. Go ahead. But uh, could you please ask your yeah, team I can, to correct can hear the you echo? Now. Go ahead. Niranjan, I can hear my own voice. I'll do that. I'll do that. We're just correcting the echo. Go ahead. Yeah, please correct the echo. We're, Thank you. We're correcting that as you speak. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Uh, Niranjan, uh, you know, first things first. What did Ajay Markham say in his press conference? He said... You know, Niranjan, I, I, I can continue to hear the echo. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not able to speak. Hello. Okay, one second. Just, okay, let me fix that. Let me fix that. Let me fix that and go across to Subrashtra. Subrashtra, do you agree with this charge that this is it's tax terror? Uh, this allegation that it's tax terror and, and, and this is an attempt by, uh, by the BJP to use agencies to try and squeeze the Congress before the elections? Well, Niranjan, the timing can always be, uh, uh, you know, will always be questioned by the opposition. But let us look at the facts at hand. Has the Congress party conducted itself in the manner it should have? Why would you call it a tax terror? Have you paid all the taxes? And if you have, where, where, are the, where is the uh, documentary evidence to prove that? You are not. You are operating in a sovereign land. You are operating in your own country, which has been, which has rules and regulations laid by the very same party that has been in power for a very long time. So I don't understand this constant uh, resort to political narrative when it's a very technical one. It's a. You have a problem with uh, taxation. You prove to the public. Prove to the government via documentation that you are in the right, then there would be no need to set up a political narrative. Yeah. Nikhil Jain. Okay, Sanju, I hope uh, your audio is fixed now. And uh, if it is, this, you can go. I see you raising your hand there. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And Thank then you. I'll take it to Nikhil Jain. Yeah, uh, it's much better now. Uh, you know, Niranjan. Uh, you know, uh, taxation is something which is uh, absolutely up my alley. And I'll say this. I listened to what Ajay Makan had to say in the press conference. And the crux of his argument was this. He said under Section 13A of the Income Tax Act of 1961, the Congress is a political party and every voluntary contribution uh, should be exempted from tax. He's absolutely right on that count. Because every political party enjoys tax exemptions via Section 13A of the Income Tax Act of 1961. Now, what? Mr. Markham failed to mention, what Rahul Gandhi fails to mention, what Jairam Ramesh and his acolytes repeatedly failed to mention is, why was Section 13A benefit not given to the Congress? Because every court, be it the appellate court, be it the income tax uh, tribunal, or the Delhi High Court, one thing which all these three platforms said to the Congress was, that you will no longer get benefits of Section 13A because you failed to file audited returns wide Section 139.4B of the Income Tax Act of 1961. Point number one. Point number two. You know, once the model code of conduct has come into place, tax terrorism chalu ho gayi hai, they are making us helpless with an eye on elections. Niranjan, your audience needs to know this. The first order from the tax authorities to the Congress party was way back on the 5th of July 2021, telling them, sirs, you have not filed your audited returns, please do so to continue availing benefits under Section 13A. But they failed to do so. In fact, the Delhi High Court mentions that how can a political party of the Congress's stature not even file basic form 35A? file a basic form 36, which is what is needed when you're slapped with a tax notice and you appeal to a higher court. I mean, if today I get an income tax notice, I'm not satisfied, I appeal to the appellate court and after that I appeal to the income tax tribunal, I know this as a citizen, I have to file a basic form 35A, I have to file a form 36, you are not doing the basic homework. I don't know which are the bunch of chartered accountants that you have at your, uh, you know, uh, beck and call, but they've certainly done a shoddy job. And now for you to turn around 
and malign the BJP and say, Are ye to BJP ki vendetta based politics hai. This is called playing the proverbial victim card. My last point is this. The biggest tax outstanding due from the Congress's end is pertaining to the year assessment year 2018-19. Initially in July 2021, they were asked to pay 105 crores. They refused to do that. Now after interest, it, the amount worked out to 135 crores. Congress ko bola gaya tha when initially 105 crores they were asked to pay in 2021 that just pay 20% of the deposit which is a normal course of things which means they had to pay roughly some 20-21 odd crores they refused to pay that how much did they pay? they paid 78 lakh ek to aapne tax nahi dhara uske baad aapko bola gaya sirf 20 pratishat dhariye by way of deposit aapne wo nahi dhara aapne audited returns nahi file kiye you file returns late Beyond the mandated 33 days when you are going into appeal, when you do these things, you automatically lose the exemptions that you enjoy under Section 13A of the Income Tax Act. This any tax accountant or a normal chartered accountant will tell you. So the Congress has no one but itself to blame, its shoddy legal team to blame, its shoddy set of chartered accountants to blame. Now, after a lot of water has flown under the bridge, for Jairam Ramesh, and Ajay Markham to suddenly start jumping up and down and blaming the BJP's power for the cost, but I am not surprised. My simple question is this. If the Congress is squeaky clean as it claims to be, why is it that the appellate court refused to entertain the Congress's plea? Why is it that the Income Tax Tribunal refused to entertain the Congress's plea? Why okay. is it that the Delhi High Court refused to entertain the Congress's plea? Clearly saying that you have failed to even do the basics in terms of filing audited returns, which a 75-year-old party needs to know about. I mean, look at the shoddy, uh, you know, team that they have at their disposal. Yeah. Okay, let me get Nikhil Jain and then I'll get Suman C. Raman as well. Uh, Nikhil and Suman C. Raman. See, uh, I have two points, right? One, they're questioning the timing. Nikhil. Now, as per sources, I'm only going by what details I have as per sources. The timing of the order, if you discuss the timing of the order, the timing of the order, they say, is because the assessment was time barring on the 31st of March. Today is the 30th, tomorrow is the 31st, right? And had to be completed by date is the argument that these agency sources are putting out. Now, secondly, and this is the most interesting aspect, Nikhil. The most interesting aspect is, there is a dare, there is a dare that if Congress party, if it thinks it's innocent, it is challenged to release the entire assessment order to the public. The contents would be damning to say the least is what these sources are saying. I wonder what's in the entire assessment order and whether in the interest of public, the Congress party should put it out. Do you think that should happen, Nikhil? Naranjan, first of all, you gave 5 minutes, 37 seconds of uninterrupted time to the BJP spokesperson. I, I hope you you are going to give me at least <laughs> half of that. So the first point that your viewers must know is that the Congress party ahead. received 452 crores in the fan. Perfect. The Congress party received 452 crores in the year 2022 to 23, while the BJP received over 2400 crores. I'm counting all sources of revenues and income for both these parties. Now, there is one party that is not going to pay a single rupee in tax, and that, that is the BJP that gets 2400 crores, while the Congress party with 450 crores is supposed to pay 1800 crores in tax. Now, so far as the timing of these tax demands are concerned, look at the number of notices being sent by the Income Tax Department. The assessment notices that are being sent to the party right now pertain to as long back as 1994. Of course, there are more recent notices as well, 2018, 2014, 2011, but the point is that the BJP has been in government for the past 10 years. The Income Tax Department has been fully functional. Why could the Income Tax Department not act on it earlier? Fact of the matter is that in this country, the law is equal for all, except for the BJP and its allies. 
if the tax department is so fair, if the enforcement directorate is so fair, why are no investigations being done? Why is no charge sheet being filed against those very same people against why whom no Narendra Modi himself leveled charges of corruption? What about Ashok Chavan, Shovendu Adhikari, Hemant Biswa Sarma and the list goes on and on and on. Nothing happens to any of these people because they joined the BJP. But when it comes to the Congress, so basically the Congress is being asked to pay 200 crores. Why? Because there was a delay of 45 days in filing the tax returns. Now Sanju has already told your viewers but let me reiterate it that political parties are exempt from paying taxes. Of course they are supposed to file their returns with the requisite departments and authorities but for a 45 day return in filing the returns when you don't have to pay any tax are you going to slap a fine of 200 crores on a political party one month before the Lok Sabha elections are to come into play. The thing is that the BJP has been going around row beating and chest beating saying ki char so par, char so par. They're mighty scared that they're not even going to cross the teen so or even the do so mark, which is why they have to pull out all these guns. Kejriwal is arrested. Now they're going to say, no, but the due process of law is being followed. Why did you not arrest him after the third summon itself? It was on the 4th of January. There were no elections at that point of time. You could have arrested him. You did not. You waited till the model code of conduct came into play and only then did you arrest him. Now you're sending tax notices to Saket Gokhale. You have sent a tax notice to CPI. Why? Because they have filed the tax return using an old PAN card. I mean, how frivolous can, can you be? Are you tomorrow going to disband the Congress party because Rahul Gandhi hey, happens to make Nikhil, a Nikhil, 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 Nikhil. That is what is happening. Nikhil. And it's not just the opposition that is questioning Nikhil. the BJP Nikhil. and this frivolous Nikhil. tax department. It is the world. You've spoken Germany, for four United minutes. States, United Nations, four minutes, same, 59 Nations seconds. One minute, hold on. Before which Prime Minister <laughs> goes and beats his thigh. Just we are the, we are the mother of democracy. Sense. They are Why the same organization that are raising democracy today. One second, one second, one second. Nikhil, Nikhil, one second, one second, one second. Nikhil, first of all, first, okay, one second. Wait, wait, wait. Sa sa one second, one second. Sanju, before you respond, just one small, small. Uh, uh, Nikhil, first of all, don't take it so personally that some, some Gokhale guy uh, got some tax <laughs> notice. CPI got tax notice, right? Even I received some mail from the income tax saying that they want some clarification about some receipt you know, for a few for thousand Gokhale, rupees that I had. No, I can, I can share that with you. I will send it to you. I will send it to you on DM. So calm down. People get it all the time. It's okay. I don't pay so much of income tax, but I still got, I, I still got, a, I still got an email asking for clarification. Everybody gets that. So calm down, okay? First of all, calm down. Now, secondly, a point that I'm you sure made. You a point that you made you about a story political parties being exempt. No, no, one sec. You said political parties are exempt. Very nice point. You said political parties are exempt from tax, but you forgot to, you forgot to mention the exemption and the condition. Let me tell you, you said you gave the half truth. Now I'm going to say the whole thing. Under section 13A of the income tax, income received by a political party is exempt if a number of conditions are met. What are those conditions? Those conditions are, if the party, right, does not accept any amount more than 2,000 rupees by cash. Okay. Now the trick question back to the BJP is, and I know Sanju, you can combine both. Will you stick your neck out and say that the BJP has never taken any amount more than 2,000 by cash? Sanju. Yes. So, you know, uh, Niranjan, I'm sticking my neck out and saying this. Uh, because I think Nikhil Jain has got into this habit of peddling falsehoods and the half-truth, uh, thinking that the audience is gullible. But I will not allow him to get away by torturing data to suit his uh, perverted narrative. You know, what does the Section 13 exemption say? One, audited returns have to be filed. B, no single donor should give more than 2,000 rupees in cash. Number three, if there is any donation of 20,000 or above, it has to be done by way of a check, account pay check or a demand draft. And point number four, you have to file audited returns wide provisions of section 139.4b of the Income Tax Act of 1961. Did the Congress accept donations beyond individual donation of rupees 2000 rupees in cash? Yes, they admitted we've taken 50 lakh in cash. They have admitted this in front of the appellate court. Did the Congress file audited returns? No. Did the Congress file returns wide section 139.4b as is mandated even by the representation of People Act 1951? No. Did the Congress furnish all details of donors who gave them 20,000 or more by way of account pay check or demand draft? The answer is no. 
you have not fulfilled the basic conditions that are needed to avail exemptions under section 13a of the income tax act and then you start fretting fuming hawing humming crying whining rona rona se kuch nahi hoga and nikhil you said you know why is the congress has to pay 200 crore penalty i will say this be the kg who has given a long rope team saman ke baad the enforcement directorate has the powers for so motor search seizure arrest because money laundering is a non bailable cognizable offence under section 45 of the pmla nine summons this man brazenly refu refused okay. to comply with then the enforcement directorate cracked the whip and similarly in the case of congress you know uh, just one minute uh, yeah. uh, niranjan if you and me don't pay our taxes we are served a section 143 1a notice then you will get two more notices maximum three notices aayenge uske baad a lien is placed on your bank account your bank account is not frozen a lien is placed which means that the amount that you are supposed to pay to the statutory authorities that will be automatically debited or taken away from your account so if sanju verma has 500 rupees in her account and she has to pay 100 rupees to the income tax authorities which she refuses to pay despite repeat notices income tax authority will place a lien of rupees 100 which means 100 rupees aapke automatically debit ho jayenge and you will be left with 400 rupees so the second lie is that yeah. congress's accounts have not been frozen there only has been a lien for the disputed amount which the tax recover tax authorities have recovered which they are mandated to do under section 154 155 206 220 okay. and 221 of the income tax act so your accounts have not been frozen first learn the basic difference about when a lien is placed on your account and when your accounts are blanketly frozen basic aapko terminology ka difference pata hai my locker but i have not frozen your account i have not taken any money from your account don't make these frivolous arguments sanju don't make these frivolous arguments do not one second one second one second one second okay 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 nikhil 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 with your permission nikhil and sanju nikhil and sanju both of you i have given both of you ample time to debate i will come back in one second nikhil don't speak over sanju please it's very difficult for other panelists to come in you know we have i have five more panelists nikhil nikhil please don't speak over sanju nikhil don't speak over sanju i gave you your time Nikhil, don't speak over Sanju. It's, it's bad manners. One second. I have five more panelists who haven't spoken. One second. Nee, Ranjan, I'll just take ten seconds. No, what, Sanju, wait. Sanju, I'll come back to you. Hold on. Sanju, just, just... go on, go on. Okay, Debate ten seconds. Ten you. seconds. I need to move. Ten yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get the other panelists. Nee, Ranjan, my simple argument is. She. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll respond. I'll respond. Tax story, karoge to har jana bharna padega. Na khaunga, na khane dunga is not a jumla. You are not seeing. Tax story, to kya hoga jab tax dena hoga? Okay. Tax story ka sun. Okay, one second. Tax story ka bhi. Okay, okay. Sanju, Sanju, I'm going to Sumant. I'm going to Sumant. I'm going to Sumant. Sanju, one second. Sanju, I'm going to Sumant. One second. Sumant. Suman Suman one second Suman Suman one second yeah, Suman yeah, yeah, Suman yeah. see Suman you said the, this is debate is for you or something like that some some sharp some some very you know uh, snide comment you pass there one second hold on see the opposition on this debate is outnumbering like the india alliance there are, uh, wait one second one two three four five versus two five of you versus two of them okay that is sanju verma and subhrash are on the same side and there are five gentlemen right batting for the indie block now one second my question and, and that is why i'm giving her and i will now give subhrashta the right so you know ample time to respond you can also take your time suman i have no problem with that suman i have here some details okay and this is specifically to this period 2014 2015 to the years 2020 2021 now the details that i have here say that based on incriminating material seized during search operations specifically in april 2019 reflecting extensive use of cash in electoral process assessments of indian national congress for reopen for 7 years 7 years between 2014 to 2021 notices 153c income tax were issued in march 23 march 23 and therefore assessment proceedings for these 7 years these i'm repeating for assessment proceedings for 7 years were getting time barred on the 31st of march 2024 which is tomorrow so can you link that to the tax notices you've gotten today 
and then claim our money is being squeezed so that we don't fight the elections. Uh, Niranjan, uh, I hope you will give me at least half the time that Sanju Verma got. Essentially, I think politically this is yes, a good go thing ahead. for the Congress party for the simple reason that anybody with, with half a you know iota of sense can see it for what it is and it is it is a clear witch hunt. This is not about a tax arrears or a tax issue at all. It is about completely strangling the financial muscle of the principal opposition party in the run-up to the election. So 270 crore of rupees accounts were frozen and 135 crore from that was recovered because of 14 lakh rupee non-compliance. This is what the Congress party says. Now, I have not seen anybody um, uh, rebutting that this 270 crore was not frozen or 135 crore was not recovered forcibly from these accounts. I have not seen that. Second, when let us come to this uh, no name uh, list, you know, there are no names of donors. The Congress party in that period had 92 names, uh, 92 donors with no names. And the total donations taken without name was four and a half lakhs. In the same period, 21, 22, 22, 23, they say that the BJP had 263, um, 253 people with no names or donations valued at two and a half crore. So clearly, there is a discrepancy in the way the principal opposition party is being treated versus how the ruling party is being treated. Now, my point is, this issue is now gaining international traction. You had the, you know, people like the US, the UN, even the UN is coming out saying that they fear, uh, you know, they would like to see that elections which are held in India are free and fair. I mean, this used to be the case with, uh, you know, we used to see some banana republics in South America and Africa, Wow. Um, uh, you know, which, wow. which used to be uh, given these kind wow. of uh, advisories by the UN. We'd like to Suman. see free and fair Suman. elections. And, uh, Suman. you know, now can I make a quick, can, can I make a quick interjection? The United no, 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 Nations one second. What? Is calling for free one and minute. fair elections in India. Is it oh, not one second. Does it I, I'm interjecting there. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping you there for a second. I'm stopping you there for a second. No, no, one second. I, 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 I'm going to... Suman, Suman, Suman. Suman, I'm going to counter your argument. Suman, I'm going to counter your argument. One second. One second. One second. Wait, wait, Sanju, wait. Sanju, wait. Sanju, wait. He said that is why... Wait, I'm, I'm, I, I have a point to make. You Aren't have you to hear sad? me out, sir. You have to hear me out. No, no, Fantastic argument. Not, I'll expose, I'll expose my hypocrisy on this one. The UN says no, no I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, hear me out, hear me out. Fair? You does said the US, UN, Germany are worried. Are they fighting the elections for the opposition party? And no. they want fairness. Look at the irony. In America, yes. Trump is being Miranda. squeezed. I of think, 600 million dollars right for us one to second, form our one, own second. one second one second because that you, united nations trump, is anti trump who's running for president I think we can trump who's running for president nations, right like we are no no one second i, I think i think the time is i want to bring in subrashta 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 look at the irony look at the irony subrashta no 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 trump no 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 very interesting i think the time has come for india also to speak you know Trump is being sued for $600 million. He's been asked to pay $600 million. $1 million, $1 million is, is, is 8.5 crore. So he's being asked to pay, he's being asked to, to pay 5,000 yeah. crore Indian money, $600 million, yeah. right, just before the elections no, no, in the US. I think now. India should also please, speak up because the argument is, the they latest. feel, no, 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 it's now no, there's a crazy argument. Subrashta, Subrashta. He's saying Germany is worried, US is worried, UN is worried. Are, what are they worried about? What is their interest in the Indian not, elections? Subrashta. Not only that, Niranjan, why should we be bothered as to what these, uh, these countries or these agencies think at the end of the day? If we were to seek validation from the UN all the time, elections are held in this country, then I don't think we should call ourselves a sovereign nation after all.
if we have to worry about every time about what the us media would talk about what certain senate uh, you know senate members in the us would talk about then we should stop calling ourselves sovereign and perhaps the opposition can uh, you know create a similar narrative like the bjp has created with respect to the word secularism in this country this is a free advice i give to the opposition now i find two arguments being made extremely uh, farcical here neither sumanth nor nikhil uh, deny the fact that the congress party has had some issues with documentation they are saying that well it is an issue but it is not right for the bjp to and they have not said it in as many words but let me put it out uh, for the simplicity of the viewers that the bjp is directing the income tax department to send these document uh, to send these questions to the uh, uh, to the congress party now if this is a political attack they are trying to make then let me ask a political question to them why should the bjp not do it prior to elections they have already capitalized and built on a narrative that congress party is a party of corrupt politicians that congress as a party is a party which has which is the genesis of corruption in this country so if they were to politically use this rhetoric in favor of them what uh, where is where is actually a problem i don't think anybody in this country today uh, uh, niranjan all polit any political party in this country can take a moral high ground and say that well we have done everything in terms of political narrative only on the basis of ethics as i said and nikhil chose to dodge that uh, that aspect what is the problem in congress party coming out and giving a typical uh, typically honest communique on its source of funding on why the income yeah. tax notices are are uh, 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 you know should not be done in the way they are being done and that you know there there may have been some lapses but we will rectify it in the future what is the problem in acknowledging it is my if they ex expect everybody to you know uh, sort of play uh, on a level playing uh, playing field of morality then let the congress take a take a lead in that sense Yeah, no, but uh, before I go across, Sanju Akash, Deep, Muni, Asun, Sanju, let me get an opinion comment from him. It's been thirty, thirty, thirty-three minutes. No, one, no, one second. So, so on, so on, so on. Let me. In the interest, poor guy, Akash Deep hasn't spoken. One second, one second. See, Akash Deep, I know you have your own issues with with the BJP, but I just want to tell you that uh, in the year 2019, April 2019, because we we are talking to that corresponding period, uh, income tax searches showed cash receipts allegedly from the Congress. and they've specifically named a few people i am naming them as claimed by these agency sources a mega engineering b kamalnath and you know what they say the total receipts in cash spread over several years from 2014 to 2019 only was to the extent of 626 crore there is a number to it not talking about the number where the money came from why the money came according to these sources cash receipts from mega engineering which is also the largest one of the largest electoral bond donors cash from cash receipts from mega engineering were for contracts awarded cash from kamalnath was from a large alleged corruption scam run by him which involved collection of bribes from a number of people including senior bureaucrats ministers businessmen and these cash receipts have been established and corroborated in multiple ways documents found during search whatsapp messages statements recorded i'm not saying it this is what the agency sources are saying right you can't deny uh, if they if they're putting numbers to it and if they're challenging the congress party to put the facts out how are you going to defend that akash deep Okay, Niranjan ji, I have been listening to you for thirty-five minutes. Kindly give me the courtesy of having the first two minutes without interruption. Uh, first, I am not an IT expert, so I will not go into the nitty gritties of the case. Uh, if I had had been, I would have gone. But I'll talk about the larger picture. You know, in this election, uh, is the opposition and the government are getting a level playing field? Uh, it doesn't seem like that. Uh, remember, in January thirty-one. 31st January, JMM Chief Minister was arrested. Then came March 21, when Delhi Chief Minister is arrested. Two Chief Ministers had been arrested are in jail. Uh, BRS senior leader K Kavita is also arrested, is in jail. TMC's Partha Chatterjee, uh, Jyotipriya Malik, they are also in jail. Uh, uh, coming back to this tax case, uh, this tax case goes back to 1984. Congress, uh, mm -hmm. which is way back, they should have come. Uh, much earlier 
1994 is like you know 20 years back 20 years. Uh, TMC has got 11 notices, left has got 11 crore uh, tax notice. Uh, you know, these all shows that how the level playing field comes down. You compare it with Chagan Bhujwal. You know, he there he was in jail for two years. Today, when he joined uh, NDA, he is out and his face has been closed. Same case with Praful Patel. He, is, he has joined uh, NDA and his case has also been closed. Uh, closed door has been filed. This resembles something which happens in uh, near neighboring, neighboring countries like Bangladesh, like Pakistan, where Khalid Zia and Imran Khan, the two opposition leaders, are in jail. Also in corruption charges. So, while we see all these things, it doesn't seem like a level playing field. Uh, but uh, I must tell you one thing, that Kejriwal, jailing Kejriwal, will boomerang to BJP. And BJP could have done it much earlier but doing it in front, before polls is uh, will, will be hazardous for them because they were still in. Uh, they were they still tried, don't they, know. They will there be presidential Akashdi. elections? Will there? Akashdi, can you please tell me uh, when the first of the nine summons? Don't know. Akashdi, so it I'm giving you a follow-up. I'm, I'm asking you a follow-up question. Can you please tell me when was the first summon? No, 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 you, ha you made a very, very nice, you know, it, it sounded very nice, it sounded very nice, you know, in the tone that Kejriwal or his party men uh, would use. It would be, it would have been better for the BJP if they would have arrested Kejriwal a long time before the elections. Can you please tell me when was the first summon to Mr. Kejriwal issued? First of nine summons. When was it issued, sir? I, I knew that, Ranjan, you'll come to this. After the three <laughs> uh, summers, they could have arrested him. But they waited <laughs> till the ninth one. follow up question. The interesting fact is that the last summon now, was in. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to complain right about the level playing field and the division because you've already been waiting for the next one. There's no level playing field on the debate. And for the first time, Ahmadi Party will win. No, no, it, it may boomerang. It may boomerang, but I think Akashdeep, Akashdeep, he's broken all records. I don't know or, or I haven't heard of any chief minister who has skipped nine summons. Sanju, I'll let Sanju respond. Yeah, you know, now Akashdeep Muni, uh, you know, um, uh, he's a well-read guy. Uh, I listen to him very patiently. I'm sure he'll extend the courtesy to me. First and foremost, Niranjan, I think I need to communicate with your audience. And they need to know, Kya Arvind Kejriwal ko Narendra Modi ne jail bhijwaya nahi? Delhi High Court ne bhijwaya. Kya Sanjay Singh, Satinder Jain aur Manish Sisodia ko Narendra Modi ya Amit Shah ne jail bhijwaya nahi. Every bail application of theirs was rejected by the Supreme Court. Third point, TMC ke Partha Chatterjee. Kya unki bail application ko Modi ji ne kharij kiya nahi. It is again the Supreme Court. Again TMC's Anubratta Mandal, the so-called Bahubali of Birbhum. Kya Anubratta Mandal? So, jail Narendra Modi or Amit Shah or J.P. Nadda ne bhijwaya nahi. It was again the Supreme Court which quashed any form of relief to Anubratta Mandal. Abhishek Banerjee, the nephew of Mamta Banerjee, he went to the Supreme Court saying, quash the summons issued to me. And the Supreme Court actually imposed a penalty of 25 lakh rupees on him saying, you are wasting the court's time, you will have to face trial like anybody else who is accused in the cash for job scam. Speaking of Tejashwi Yadav, who stood and said, BJP is a washing machine. Hai. So Tejashwi Yadav, if you are watching this, your father is a convict in the fodder scam. Lalu Prasad Yadav, infamously also called as the Chara Chod, is a uh, convict in the Doranda treasury scam. Tejashwi Yadav himself is an accused in the IRCTC scam. Tejashwi Yadav's two sisters, Hema Yadav and Misa Bharti, are also accused in the IRCTC scam. And it is the Supreme Court which said that Tejasri Yadav, Hema Yadav and his sister Nisa Bharti have to undergo trial. Yeah, Narendra Modi ne to nahi kaha, kaha ki bhai Tejasri Yadav aap trial face kariye. Then the most mm -hmm. important thing, which I always say and I will repeat because I think this will never go out of fashion. In any money laundering or a criminal offense, there are three things which are very important. A malafide intent, proceeds of crime and a money trail. And the most important bit is the money trail. As recently as October 2023, this Sanju Verma is not saying, this Modi is not saying, this JP Nadda and Amit Shah is not saying. A two-judge bench led by Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice SVN Bhatti, what did they say? They said that in the Delhi liquor policy scam, a money trail of rupees 338 crore has been tentatively established. So here, your audience, they need to ask a question. 
क्या दिल्ली हाईकोर्ट गलत है सुप्रीम कोर्ट गलत है इनकम टैक्स अथॉरिटी गलत है एपलेट कोर्ट गलत है यू नो एवरी जुडिशियल प्लेटफॉर्म और द इंडियन लीगल जूडिस प्रूडेंस इज बींग आस क्वेश्चन और जो चोरी करते हैं उन पर कोई एक उंगली तक नहीं उठा रहा सारे चोर एक साथ मिल गए हैं एंड देर ट्राइंग टू अंडरमाइन द क्रेडिबिलिटी ऑफ द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर शर्मा Okay, I'm 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 asking my question. Next question, Pankaj Sharma. Pankaj Sharma, uh, you know the High Court. When the Congress Party went to the High Court, the High Court observed that the Congress Party, that is the INC, failed to establish the material basis of satisfaction note, saying it's not founded on any material evidence or documentation. <coughs> the High Court had also observed that there has been escapement. I'm using my words carefully. The High Court had observed. that there has been escapement of income approximately to the tune of 520 crore now will it be will it be wrong to say that the congress party is completely clean on this issue pankaj see i would say that congress should follow legal procedures and fulfill its tax obligation why only congress or the parties in opposition everyone and more so the ruling parties you varma ji is party Most also must fulfill its tax accountability, but there is no tax liability on BJP because there is no notice from paying dues has been served. No notice is served because it is a most centrally political party. Income tax department has seized the accounts of the Congress party, taken out 135 crores from the accounts. Even after this recovery, a notice for the recovery of 1,823 crores has been sent. the treasurer of the congress party ajay makan has said that with the same formula income tax authorities need to recover 4600 crore rupees from the bjp as penalties for 7 years so when you target selectively it is not the is it not the tax terrorism what else it is there It's so it's not a fiction. The hard facts are before Where everyone. Even if the Congress has defaulted in filing the income tax returns in time, and for that it has to pay the uh, penalties, fine. You have recovered that. But what about the BJP? Why you don't serve the notice of recovery for a default default of seven years to BJP? So this is the point. You you okay. You are Let me ask. Selective. That is the point. I, I don't know whether there has been any default. I don't. I don't know whether there's been any default, but let me get, let me ask the question to Subrashta. Subrashta, see the, the 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 argument has always been the agencies don't go after BJP leaders. Many BJP leaders slash NDA leaders now have been under scanner. They've either had the cases go cold or closed, cold or closed. A uh, recent case of Praful Patel, right? We've tracked that case very closely, and uh, the the argument is, of course, it's selective. There's also a perception attached to it. How do you see that? subrashta play out in this election i uh, completely understand where the opposition is coming from and to a certain extent i do believe that be, that whatever is happening is happening with a certain political motive in mind as well my question is slightly separate from this i mean this is this is not new this is not new that we are seeing that whosoever is in power has been uh, uh, uses Uh, agencies under its disposal to settle political scores why are we my question to the opposition is and everybody who is debating this is why are we acting so baffled as if this hasn't happened in the past as if this is some new phenomena that is happening in this country this is a this, why do you want to capture power in the very first place the one of the reasons that you want to be in a position of authority is to show that you are in a position of authority power is all about optics if the congress party is in power today they will do exactly the same thing that the bjp is doing have had did they not do it uh, did they not do the same in the past is mamata banerji not doing this uh, doing the same in bengal <laughs> so these are questions the, i i don't understand why is the opposition trying to 
create a political narrative out of rhetoric of course it's a problem and of course uh, you know charges yeah. of selectivism maybe yeah. uh, 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 not maybe are true in certain sense but then what are you going to do about it are you going to completely deny the as i, I and i would yeah. go back to the original argument uh, niranjan is the opposition is the congress party going to deny the fact that the income tax of, uh, notices have not been responded to the way they should have been responded responded to if you want to fight this entire conversation on yeah. on morality yeah. then let us ask the congress have you been moral enough there should be no problem in asking that question right yeah yeah neel uh, this uh, nikhil jain was showing some pamphlet uh, some placard what are you showing nikhil what's what's on that placard what's on that placard What's your placard? What's your yeah? I'm coming to you, Neil. What is Just that? Want wow. to thank Subhashtra wow. for finally wow. admitting, wow. admitting that the Modi oh government is completely. It says wow, Modi ji, wow. She's saying that the opposition. No, no, listen, listen. They, they, they're coming up with good political ads. They, they, they don't need your scripts. I don't know. I, I'm not sure they need your scripts. Nikhil, Nikhil, I don't think they need your scripts. They have some fantastic agencies that they. No, no, they have some fantastic agencies that they they got hold of. Let me go to Neil. Were there any tax notices like this in 2009? Nikhil, I felt. Nikhil, I felt your trap. Nikhil, I felt your trap, man. You lost the argument. Please, please give me ten seconds. Uh, you can't understand the difference between Lien and freezing a bank account and you're debating on income tax issues. Okay, okay. That is as laughable as it can get. Okay. You know, I mean, okay. Subhash is responding to Nikhil and then Neil Basu. Neil, Neil Basu, I have a. Sanju, nobody needs any certificates of knowledge. Neil Basu, Neil Basu, I just spoke to Subhash. I can't. With your permission, because I'm trying to get the basic signal. The central government, in the central government's actions every day are becoming a threat to the democracy. Why I say so? There is a similarity among all the opposition parties. Let it be Congress, let it be Aam Aadmi Party, let it be Trinamool Congress, let it be any other party whatsoever. Similarity is what every other day you are receiving summons from the ED, every other day you are receiving summons from the IT department. So this is big. Yeah, this has become a regular routine. Routine, regular routine for all of the opposition. Yeah, for example, party. for example, the ED question <laughs> Sheikh Shah Jahan today, who was absconding and was being shielded by the Trinamool yes. Congress, ED not, not just questioned him today, but has also arrested be... him. Yes, they're, yes. They're muzzling the, the, the muzzling opposition the parties, is it? In is the case of Sheikh Shah Jahan today, it does not. It does not make any difference. Now, the point is that threatening the democracy. Threatening? No. Why? Why the BJP is so much uh, afraid? Why? Why the uh, one minute Sanju Verma? I did not. I did not. I did not interfere when he was. I am talking to you. I am talking to the anchor. Who are you to interject me? It is not a level playing field. I am still debating you, you, without you, playing, without you, you, playing you, the victim. I will ask for my time from the anchor. If the anchor does not want to give time, he will say so. You, you are not going to lecture you, me on this debate. It's, it's I am not going to listen to your answer. Neil, Neil, come here. I am not going to listen to your answer. I have a bad signal with you. Now the point. You are not the anchor. Nikhil, the point. Neil, 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 it's a double whammy, man. Neil, 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 it's a double whammy. First, I have a bad signal with you, and then you engage in this in this spat. You are losing your own time. You are losing your own time. I'll give you thirty seconds. Make your point. Make your point. I have a bad signal. So please go ahead. It's a double whammy, man. Don't get into that. If the BJP is so much confident that they will win over 400 seats, so why this kind of uh, situations uh, notices have been sent every now and then? And why just seven days before the election, just 15 days before the election, these things are happening? I will answer that. Why? Why the agency is sleeping for last five years? Why the agency is sleeping for last five years? I question <laughs> it to myself. Every other day, all the political parties, all opposition parties, mm. say that. They are receiving either summons this, from please. the ED or receiving summons from any other central agency. Yeah, It has okay. become a normal routine just before the election. Okay, well, I'm I'm giving I'm giving Sanju and Subrasha thirty thirty seconds. Yes, 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 Sanju, thirty seconds and then Subrasha thirty seconds. Yes, Sanju. Yeah, you know if the enforcement directorate had swung into action. Against the TNC or Congress in 2021, they would have said, "Oh, this is with an eye on the elections in Assam and in West Bengal." If the ED and the income tax had swung into action in 2022, they would have said, "Oh, this is with an eye on elections in Goa, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and Punjab." If the ED and income tax would have swung into action in early 2023, they would have said, "Oh, this is with an eye on elections in Tripura, Meghalaya, and Nagaland." If the ED would have swung into action in mid of 2023, they would have said, "Oh, this is with an eye on elections in Karnataka." If the income tax would have swung into action.
election in late 2023, they would have said, oh, this is with an eye on elections in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. So, aapko to rone ka victim card khelne ka excuse chahiye. The law agencies, mostly are statutory yeah. independent bodies. They do not take directions from Narendra Modi okay. or Amit Shah. It is time you stop defaming the income tax. It is time you stop defaming the enforcement directorate. It is time you stop defam defaming the CBI. And by the way, the ED has a 96% strike rate in money laundering cases. And the CBI has a 97.3% strike rate in money laundering cases. Out of 5, Before you start cases talking support. about money okay, laundering I'm, 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 cases, I'm, 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 I'm,
So what does this largely mean for the aviation ecosystem of the country? The aviation regulator has lifted the June 1 deadline for implementation of the pilot rest norms which it has formulated. Earlier on March 15, the aviation regulator categorically refused to extend the June 1 deadline. This did not go down well with the airlines, which said they would be at loss. So what does the flight duty time limitation norms in the aviation sector mean? Essentially, the FDTL or the flight duty time limitation norms guarantees sufficient rest for pilots, minimizing the risk of untoward incidents that have of late dominated India's aviation sector. Earlier this year, a 34-year-old pilot succumbed to a cardiac arrest at the Delhi's International Airport, sending shockwaves in India's aviation sector. This alarmed the regulator. And now, the FTDL norms issued in January have increased the pilot rest time. These norms were set to be implemented from June 1 this year. However, these norms now stand postponed. As per these rules, the enhanced weekly rest for pilots has gone up from 26 hours to 48 hours. Additionally, these norms have lessened the flying at night, which is known to increase fatigue and lower attention of the pilots. The Federation of Indian Airlines, FIA and Umbrella कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements Thank you for tuning in to Republic TV. I'm Deepak Suresh Kumar. Let's get started with the headlines. Congress served 1,800 crore IT notice. Party hits out, says tax terrorism has to stop. Congress receives fresh IT notices of over 1,800 crore. Slams BJP for financially strangulating opposition parties during election season. Days after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, probe agency questions Delhi Minister Kailash Gelot. After US and UN intervenes in Kejriwal's arrest saga, Vice President Dhankar counters and says, look within, India doesn't need lessons. Anger mounts over Congress uh, Neta's fit to cook jibe at BJP woman leader. Now, Saina Neval slams Congress MLA.
Trouble mounts for mafia back Don Sheikh Shah Jahan now in enforcement directorate's custody. First up, viewers, the team to decide PM Modi ki guarantees for the PM's third term for the upcoming polls has been announced. The 27-member panel is headed by former BJP President Rajnath Singh. The panel consists of top union ministers, chief ministers and also former chief ministers reflecting upon the immense experience of governance and delivery that will propel India's growth to a higher level. सबसे बड़ी दीवार आर्टिकल 370 की थी इस दीवार को भाजपा की सरकार ने हटा दिया the bjp has announced the team that will make pm modi's guarantee for the next 5 years the 27 member panel will be headed by former party president rajnath singh the power-packed panel also has top names in both the centre and state government. The list also shows the emphasis that BJP puts on aspiration of states. The PM has also taken the opposition over the manifesto. The PM has delivered on his promises and with his aim of making Vixen Bharat by 2047, India is waiting for PM's vision document for the next five years. Aaj pura Hindustan janta hai, aray puri dunia bhi maanti hai ki Modi ki guarantee matlab Guarantee pura hone ki bhi guarantee. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Well, let's shift our focus on Madhya Pradesh because the election battle for 29 seats in the state has begun with voting set for April 19th. Ahead of this crucial phase, the Madhya Pradesh BJP is aggressively bolstering its ranks, claiming significant defections from the Congress. Here's the report. The political landscape in Madhya Pradesh witnesses a seismic shift. With the first phase scheduled for April 19, the state BJP claims a mass exodus from the opposition in the last two months. The Madhya Pradesh BJP claims that over 16,000 leadership have jumped ship to the party in just two months. मैं सभी का स्वागत करता हूं, विनम्रता करता हूं, और कुल मिलाकर ये आश्वस्त करता हूं कि आप सरकार के अंदर आपके अच्छे उपयोगी सुझावों पर उसका भी पालन करेंगे, सरकार के माध्यम से जनता की सेवा करने के लिए आपका भी उपयोग करेंगे, आपको इससे दाम बनाएंगे। मैं साथ ही साथ बहुत सारे मित्र बनाए, लंबी लिस्ट मोदी जी की ये जो सुनामी चल रही है पर मैं तो चुनाव के पहले आपने ऐसी सुनामी कभी नहीं देखी हो अगर मैं ये कहूं कि गिरीज बुक की तरह हम उसको देखें कि इसमें कहीं इनाम आती हो तो मध्य प्रदेश देश का वो राज्य है जिसमें सर्वाधिक लोगों ने कांग्रेस छोड़ दी है with a sea of defection from the opposition to BJP translate into significant water base for the party in the state remains to be seen. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Amidst the phone tapping controversy in Telangana, BJP spokesperson N.V. Subhash alleges that certain bureaucrats particularly from the police department conducted phone tapping to appease the former Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Subhash urges Telangana Chief Minister Revant Reddy 
to appoint a judge or establish a three member commission to investigate the matter further so the phone tapping issue has been uh, in um, uh, uh, from uh, brs party where some of the bureaucrats especially the police department just in order to please their former boss uh, mr ksr this uh, you know the phone tapping has been done revanth reddy should really uh, uh, appoint a judge or have a three member uh, you know the commission where the phone tapping issue has been done who are the culprits who are the beneficiaries the director of the european space agency lords isro stating and i quote what india is accomplishing in space is astonishing this commendation highlights the impressive strides made by the indian space agency in the recent years ids sheet in the rao's avenue court concerning money laundering linked to the delhi jal board tender among the accused named in the charge sheet are jagdish arora anil agarwal and Tajendra Singh along with an NBCC officer named Mittal the court is scheduled to consider the charge sheet on Monday April 1st A section of an under construction bridge over the river Ganga in Bulandshahar Uttar Pradesh collapsed but fortunately there have been no casualties reported The DRDO has effectively conducted trials for the next generation Akash missiles. Indian Army has also shared a video of the Akash missile system displaying its target engagement capability. And over the recent years, India has been consistently striving to enhance the export of domestically manufactured weapons. Here's a report. In response to the changing nature of warfare in the region, The Indian Army has released the video of Akash missile system. The Akash missile system displays its target engagement capability. The missile system was developed under India's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The missile system is a mid-range surface to air missile system built by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. Akash missile system can employ multiple air targets while operating in a fully autonomous mode and this is its advantage. Bureau report Republic TV Moving on the enforcement directorate today question Delhi minister and top Aam Aadmi Party leader Kailash Gelot in the Delhi excise policy scam Gelot was grilled for his role in the scam for about 5 hours and his connection with Vijay Nair and his role in preparing the draft of the policy that has now been scrapped now the details are in the inside this report ED heat in Lickgate case continues to haunt up netas days after Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the liquor policy scam Transport Minister and AAP leader Kailash Gehlot was summoned by the Enforcement Directorate Gehlot was questioned for his role in the Delhi excise policy Gehlot was a part of the panel that prepared the draft of the now scrapped liquor policy for 2021 to 2022 ED claims The draft was leaked to the South Group that paid kickbacks to the Aam Aadmi Party. ED also alleges that Kailash Gehlot allowed Vijay Nair, who was then AAP communication in charge and is one of the accused in the case, to use his official residence when the policy was being drafted. Gehlot, just like Arvind Kejriwal, has denied the charges. The आवाज बिल्कुल मेरे नाम पे लौटी है। लेकिन मैं आज भी और पहले भी अपने ही जो मेरा प्राइवेट रेजिडेंस है वसीम कुंज जी मैं वहाँ पे रह रहा हूँ मेरे जो बच्चे हैं वो क्योंकि मेरा जो घर वसीम कुंज में है वो डीपीएस के बिल्कुल सामने है और मेरी वाइफ ने और बच्चों ने वहाँ से शिफ्ट करने के लिए मना कर दिया था तो इसलिए ना मैं कभी जो सिविल लाइन में जो बंगलो है मेरे नाम पर जो लॉटेड है ना मैंने कभी वहाँ शिफ्ट किया और ना मैं कभी रहा वहाँ 
while the Aam Aadmi Party continues to play the victim card and slam BJP for misusing the central agencies. Sara jo mamla hai, wo adalat ke samakch hai. Aur aaj tak ED, CBI, chhape mariyan karti rahi hai, giraftariyan karti rahi hai. लेकिन अभी तक कोई भी ऐसा ठोस सबूत एजेंसियों को नहीं मिला भारतीय जनता पार्टी का जो पूरा ऑपरेशन है ईडी सीबीआई तो उसके टूल हैं उसके माध्यम है कॉलिंग इट कर्मा द बीजेपी हैज हिट बैक सेइंग आप इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ इट्स ओन एक्शंस देखिए हमारा पहले से मत था कि शराब घोटाले में आम आदमी पार्टी के कई सारे नेता मुख्यमंत्री समेत शामिल है और जांच एजेंसी अपना काम कर रही है और कई परत दर परत खुलासे हो रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है अब शराब घोटाले में और नए किरदार सामने आएंगे जिस जिसने चोरी की है जिस जिसने भ्रष्टाचार किया है उसे जवाब तो देना ही पड़ेगा विथ द लोकसभा पोल्स जस्ट वीक्स अवे विल द आम आदमी पार्टी एंड द इंडिया अलायंस स्टैंड अ चांस टू स्टैंड टॉल नेक्स्ट टू बीजेपी ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements राष्ट्रपति महोदय आपकी आ गया हो तो इस अलंकरण समारोह की कार्यवाही प्रारंभ की जाए धन्यवाद आज के अलंकरण समारोह का आयोजन भारत रत्न प्रदान करने के लिए किया गया है सर्वप्रथम श्री पीवी नरसिंह राव मरणोपरांत उनके पुत्र श्री पीवी प्रभाकर राव Clocks ticking before the courts convene once again to hear Kejriwal's matter, and in the run-up, to gain sympathy and to target the centre, the Indi Bloc leaders have planned a mega protest rally at the Ram Leela Maidan in Delhi. Here's a complete report. The stage is set for the Indi Bloc's protest at the Ram Leela Maidan in the national capital. The opposition leaders will come together to decry Kejriwal's arrest. by ED in the liquor gates camp the protest will mark the biggest anti government protest ahead of the lok sabha elections with less than 24 hours to go for the mega indi block protest kalpana soren the wife of another jail chief minister heman soren met sunita kejriwal kalpana soren and jharkhand chief minister champai soren will take part in the rally tomorrow जो स्थिति हमारी झारखंड में है वही अब यहाँ दिल्ली में भी हो गई है तो मैं मैम से सुनीता मैम से मिलने आई थी उनका दुख दर्द बांटने आई थी तो उन्होंने भी अपने व्यथा सुनाई और हम लोगों ने यही मिलकर प्रण किया है कि अब इस लड़ाई को हम लोगों को बहुत दूर तक लेके जाना है जिनमें मैम का भी साथ हमारे साथ रहेगा और हमारा पूरा झारखंड भी 
अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सर के साथ भी हमेशा रहे लिविंग नो स्टोन अनटर्न डेली मिनिस्टर सौरभ भारद्वाज हिट आउट एट द सेंटर ओवर सोरेन अरेस्ट एज वेल देखिए हेमंत सोरेन जी अपोजिशन के एक बड़े नेता थे और गैर भारतीय जनता पार्टी राज्यों में एक अच्छी सरकार चला रहे थे प्रसिद्ध नेता थे उनको जिस तरीके से केंद्र सरकार ने जेल में डाला वो सब लोगों ने देखा और उसके बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल एक दूसरी राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डाला गया केंद्र सरकार ने इन दोनों के जो हस्बैंड्स थे उनको जेल में डाला है और दोनों ने अपनी स्थिति एक दूसरे के साथ बातचीत की एक दूसरे को हौसला दिया और बड़े अच्छे वातावरण में बातचीत हुई ये तो हद ही हो गई है कि एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को आज केवल किसी के आरोपों के आधार पर उठा करके जेल में डाल दिया गया जिसके आरोप के आधार पर जेल में डाला गया उसको बेल दे दी गई और वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को साठ करोड़ रूपये का जो है चंदा दे देता है तो ये जो पूरा खेल चल रहा है इसके खिलाफ कल इस रामलीला मैदान से पूरे देश भर से इंडिया गठबंधन के लीडर आ रहे हैं दिल्ली के लोग मिल करके अपनी आवाज बुलंद बंधन की रैली है किसी एक व्यक्ति केंद्रित रैली नहीं है और इसमें सारे पार्टियां शामिल हैं सारे नेता शामिल हैं और व्यक्ति को बचाने के लिए नहीं है संविधान को बचाने के लिए लोकतंत्र को बचाने के लिए निष्पक्ष चुनाव को बचाने के लिए हम अपने आप को मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी कहते हैं बट जिस तरीके से डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या हो रही है रोज उसके खिलाफ रैली मीन वाइल द बीजेपी हैज द ऑपोजिशन क्लैरियन कॉल फॉर अ मेगा रैली कॉलिंग इट अ भ्रष्टाचार बचाओ आंदोलन वॉट इज दिस रैली इट इज नथिंग बट भ्रष्टाचार बचाओ आंदोलन स्लोगन कैन बी करेंगे हम भ्रष्टाचार कहेंगे इसको शिष्टाचार When कार्रवाई takes place, हम चिल्लाएंगे अत्याचार अत्याचार Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri reminded the people of a mega rally held by Anna Hazare a decade back. He called out the duplicity of the Aam Aadmi Party's alliance with Congress, which Kejriwal had called corrupt at the same Ram Leela Maidan. ये rally वहीं हो रही है जहाँ पे मुझे लगता है आज से कोई बारह तेरह वर्ष पहले रामलीला ग्राउंड में अन्ना हजारे जी ने एक आंदोलन चलाया था उस आंदोलन में श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी भी भाग ले रहे थे उस समय वो कहते थे कि वो तो सोशल एक्टिविस्ट हैं और वो कभी राजनीति में नहीं आना चाहते हैं तो उसकी तो बात छोड़िए पहले ये आंदोलन किसके खिलाफ था उस समय सत्ता में कौन सा राजनीतिक दल था अनदर बीजेपी लीडर also hit out at the indi block calling it a ghamandi alliance the indi alliance has absolutely sunk it is nothing but a consortium of ghamandi people who are trying to character assassinate prime minister modi who target the women of our country who are not empathetic towards the youth of our country and have questioned the very belief in our sanatan faith I think the time has come to give them a, a befitting answer and that they will get on the 4th of June. On the other hand, Jammu and Kashmir National Conference also confirmed Farooq Abdullah's participation in the mega Indi Block rally. No, no, India Alliance ke taraf se uh kal uh, Delhi mein Ramleela maidan mein ek uh, program uh, kiya ja raha hai aur National Conference ke taraf se hamare sadar जनाब फारूक अब्दुल्ला साहब वो शिरकत करेंगे उसमें इट्स अ बिग डे टुमारो फॉर द इंडी ब्लॉक इट रिमेंस टू बी सीन इफ द मेगा रैली वुड ईल्ड एनीथिंग एट ऑल फॉर द ऑपोजिशन ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी Moving on the IT trouble on Congress continues to mount after the grand old party was slapped with a fresh notice of 1800 crore rupees with the Lok Sabha polls right around the corner The Congress's story is still the same. It continues to blame the BJP accusing them of financially crippling the opposition. Here's a comprehensive report of the story. Closer to the 2024 Lok Sabha elections as ever, and tension continues to simmer in the Grand Old Party. A day after Congress was slapped with a fresh IT notice of 1800 crore rupees. 
from Himachal to Kerala, the party is in a tailspin, with protests erupting against the IT notice. Meanwhile, Congress leaders are recycling the same old worn-out rhetoric with Rahul Gandhi even making a veiled threat. If the institutions are doing their job, if the CBI is doing their job, the EDF is doing their job, then it doesn't happen. So they need to think about it. ये वो सब कर रहे हैं कि किसी ना किसी दिन बीजेपी की सरकार बदलेगी और फिर कार्रवाई होगी लोकसभा चुनाव के बाद जो केजरीवाल के साथ हुआ है यदि इन लोगों की सरकार बन गई तो ये देश के विपक्ष के नेताओं को बहुतों को तो मार देंगे अधिकतर को जेलों में बंद कर देंगे अब मैं देश की जनता से अपील करूंगा यदि आप चाहते हैं देश में लोकतंत्र फांसी पर नहीं चढ़े the BJP, on the other hand, has slammed the Congress for not replying to the notice. But if you a recognized political party, which has been in the past 70 years, for the maximum time, you have to file your assessment. I understand that this is in your own way. Now, when they are coming to notice, they say, give us a answer to notice. In public, you have to leave a press conference. The income tax is the income tax. Whether Congress would get a much needed supreme relief or whether its cash crunch would deepen remains to be seen. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Let's get you up to speed with uh, the other top stories. BJP President JP Nadda unveils the election manifesto committee for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, chaired by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Rajasthan Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma joined BJP candidate from Jodhpur Lok Sabha seat, Union Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat in a vibrant road show through Jodhpur. After serving notice to Congress party, the Income Tax Department has now served a notice to Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister and State Congress President DK Shivakumar. DK Shivkumar has hit out at the BJP for what he says is the misuse of central agencies against the opposition parties. In Kerala, Congress leaders in Ernakulam staged a protest against a hefty 1,800 crore rupees income tax notice served to the Congress party. As the Indi bloc prepares for a mega rally at Delhi's Ramlila Maidan tomorrow, National Conference leader Omar Abdullah confirmed that National Conference leader Farooq Abdullah will participate in the mega rally. Now moving on, amid the approach surrounding Supriya Shunet's comment about Kangana Ranaut's rate card, Another senior Congress leader and former minister has made a misogynistic remark saying women should be confined to the kitchen. And this has put the leader under fire with the BJP even filing a complaint against him. Now DK Shivkumar has tried to downplay Shamanur Shivshankarappa's remark by saying it was just said in a humorous manner. But along with that, badminton star Saina Nehwal has also slammed the Congress over the misogynistic remarks. Take a look at this report. One day after Congress's senior leader's misogynistic remark. Karnataka's Deputy Chief Minister DK Shivkumar downplayed the misogynist remarks, distancing himself from condemning Shomanur Shivashankarappa. Including all of them, it applies for him also. Sir, come sir. He, gave a call, sir. he doesn't want, he is in a humorous way, he has said. He is a very senior man. He respects women. We have also given to his grand uh, daughter in law. Humorous way, he's absolutely downplayed it. But also, in the beginning of this particular statement, before it has been cut off, he's also spoken in Kannada. He states uh, that uh, this applies for Shamnur Shivshankrapa as well as all. 
we will not disrespect anybody is what was uh, DK Shivkumar's actual statement and also considering the fact that the Congress party respects women, this is DK Shivkumar's statement in itself. He states that a ticket has also been given to his daughter-in-law, meaning to state that Prabha Malik Arjun is also a woman and we have given her a ticket as well. So this is basically undecided statement coming in from DK Shivkumar as well, but uh, absolutely condemnable that he stated that he's made it in a humorous way as well. So all said and done now, so far Shamnur Shiv Shankrapa has uh, not uh, you know, he's not gone ahead and apologized. Neither is there an official apology coming in from the Congress party. Badminton star Sanya Nehwal condemned the Congress, pointed out the stark contrast between BJP and Congress's approach towards women empowerment. Five days after Supriya Shanate's rate cut comment on Kangana Ranaut, Top Congress leader Shamanur Shivashankarappa has now stoked a fresh controversy with a sexist remark. His misogynistic remarks were directed at BJP's Devangare candidate Gayatri Siddeshwara. The BJP candidate took a strong stance, condemning the misogynist remarks. <laughs> BJP leaders backed Gayatri and shamed Shamanu Shivashankarappa. BJP has in fact also lodged a complaint against the Congress legislator. Once he faces the backlash, I hope that he uh, understands his mistake and uh, apologizes for the same. Is the BJP looking to pursue the speaker? Absolutely, absolutely. The BJP has already complained to the election commission. We certainly expect an apology from the Congress party. The long-awaited Lok Sabha polls is right around the corner, but the Congress has been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. How are these controversies going to shape the stage for Congress ahead of the polls? Bureau Report, Republic TV. The mobile phone subscriber base of India, which runs in crores, has seen a revolution. A shocking revolution that 30% of respondents get 1 to 2 spam calls on average day. 36% of mobile phone subscribers have said that they receive 3 to 5 spam calls almost every day. So where are these pesky calls coming from and who are these anonymous callers? The Department of Telecommunications or DOT has issued an advisory to mobile phone subscribers alarming them that there has been an increase in number of unknown calls, pesky calls being received by them. The DOT has issued an advisory underlining that phone calls are being received where callers, anonymous callers identify themselves as government officials, as representatives of the Department of Telecommunication, the caller in dark. The anonymous caller is telling mobile subscribers that their mobile phone connections will be discontinued. The cybercrime prevention measures of the Department of Telecommunication are already operational. The government advisory has asked mobile phone subscribers to report all such anonymous calls to cybercrime helpline numbers. As per the telecom department, calls are being received by citizens wherein callers call repeatedly, threatening these gullible subscribers that mobile phone connections could be discontinued anytime now. Yet another trend. A very good evening to all our viewers. Thank you for tuning in to Republic TV. I'm Deepak Suresh Kumar. Let's get started with the headlines.
Congress served 1,800 crore IT notice, party hits out, says tax terrorism has to stop. Congress receives fresh IT notices of over 1,800 crore, slams BJP for financially strangulating opposition parties during election season. Days after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, probe agency questions Delhi Minister Kailash Gelot. After US and UN intervenes in Kejriwal's arrest saga, Vice President Dhankar counters and says, look within, India doesn't need lessons. Anger mounts over Congress uh, Neta's fit to cook jibe at BJP woman leader. Now, Saina Neval slams Congress MLA. Trouble mounts for mafia back Don Sheikh Shah Jahan, now in Enforcement Directorate's custody. First up, viewers, the team to decide. PM Modi ki guarantees for the PM's third term for the upcoming polls has been announced. The 27-member panel is headed by former BJP President Rajnath Singh. The panel consists of top union ministers, chief ministers and also former chief ministers reflecting upon the immense experience of governance and delivery that will propel India's growth to a higher level. सबसे बड़ी दीवार आर्टिकल 370 की थी इस दीवार को भाजपा की सरकार ने हटा दिया the bjp has announced the team that will make pm modi's guarantee for the next 5 years the 27 member panel will be headed by former party president rajnath singh the power-packed panel also has top names in both the centre and state government. The list also shows the emphasis that BJP puts on aspiration of states. The PM has also taken the opposition over the manifesto. The PM has delivered on his promises and with his aim of making Vixen Bharat by 2047, India is waiting for PM's vision document for the next five years. Aaj pura Hindustan janta hai, aray puri dunia bhi maanti hai ki Modi ki guarantee matlab Guarantee pura hone ki bhi guarantee. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Well, let's shift our focus on Madhya Pradesh because the election battle for 29 seats in the state has begun with voting set for April 19th. Ahead of this crucial phase, the Madhya Pradesh BJP is aggressively bolstering its ranks, claiming significant defections from the Congress. Here's the report. The political landscape in Madhya Pradesh witnesses a seismic shift. With the first phase scheduled for April 19, the state BJP claims a mass exodus from the opposition in the last two months. The Madhya Pradesh BJP claims that over 16,000 leadership have jumped ship to the party in just two months. मैं सभी का स्वागत करता हूं, विनम्रता करता हूं और कुल मिलाकर यह आश्वस्त करता हूं कि आप सरकार के अंदर आपके अच्छे उपयोगी सुझावों का उसका भी पालन करेंगे सरकार के माध्यम से जनता की सेवा करने के लिए आपका भी उपयोग करेंगे आपको इससे दाम बनाएंगे मैं साथ ही साथ बहुत सारे मित्र बनाए लंबी लिस्ट है � ऐसे सभी बंधुओं का मैं बहुत स्वागत करता हूं, बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूं। मोदी जी की ये जो सुनामी चल रही है, 
और मित्रों तो चुनाव के पहले आपने ऐसी सुनामी कभी नहीं देखी हो अगर मैं ये कहूं कि गिरीज बुक की तरह हम उसको देखें कि इसमें कहीं इनाम आती हो तो मध्य प्रदेश देश का वो राज्य है जिसमें सर्वाधिक लोगों ने कांग्रेस छोड़ दी है With a sea of defection from the opposition to BJP translate into significant voter base for the party in the state remains to be seen. Bureau report Republic TV. Amidst the phone tapping controversy in Telangana BJP spokesperson NV Subhash alleges that certain bureaucrats particularly from the police department conducted phone tapping to appease the former chief minister K Chandrasekhar Rao Subhash urges Telangana chief minister Revant Reddy to appoint a judge or establish a three member commission to investigate the matter further so the phone tapping issue has been uh, in um, uh, uh, from uh, BRS party where some of the bureaucrats especially the police department just in order to please their former boss Uh, Mr. KCR, this uh, you know the phone tapping has been done. Revant Reddy should really uh, uh, appoint a judge or have a three-member uh, you know the commission where the phone tapping issue has been done. Who are the culprits? Who are the beneficiaries? The director of the European Space Agency, Lord Isro, stating, and I quote: "What India is accomplishing in space is astonishing." This commendation highlights the impressive strides made by the Indian Space Agency in the recent years. Yes. Sheet in the Rao's Avenue court concerning money laundering linked to the Delhi Jal Board tender. Among the accused named in the charge sheet are Jagdish Arora, Anil Agarwal and Tajendra Singh along with an NBCC officer named Mittal. The court is scheduled to consider the charge sheet on Monday, April 1. A section of an under construction bridge over the river Ganga in Bulandshahar, Uttar Pradesh collapsed, but fortunately there have been no casualties reported. The DRDO has effectively conducted trials for the next generation Akash missiles. Indian Army has also shared a video of the Akash missile system displaying its target engagement capability. And over the recent years India has been consistently striving to enhance the export of domestically manufactured weapons here's a report In response to the changing nature of warfare in the region the Indian army has released the video of Akash missile system The Akash missile system displays its target engagement capability. The missile system was developed under India's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The missile system is a mid-range surface-to-air missile system built by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. Akash missile system can employ multiple air targets while operating in a fully autonomous mode and this is its advantage. Bureau report Republic TV Moving on the enforcement directorate today question Delhi minister and top Aam Aadmi party leader Kailash Gehlot in the Delhi excise policy scam Gehlot was grilled for his role in the scam for about 5 hours and his connection with vijay nayar and his role in preparing the draft of the policy that has now been scrapped now the details are in the inside this report ed heat in liquigate case continues to haunt up netas days after delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal's arrest in the liquor policy scam transport minister and up leader kailash gelot was summoned by the enforcement directorate Gallot was questioned for his role in the Delhi excise policy. Gallot was a part of the panel that prepared the draft 
of the now scrapped liquor policy for 2021 to 2022. ED claims the draft was leaked to the South Group that paid kickbacks to the Aam Aadmi Party. ED also alleges that Kailash Gharalot allowed Vijay Nair, who was then AAP communication in charge and is one of the accused in the case, to use his official residence when the policy was being drafted. Gelot, just like Arvind Kejriwal, has denied the charges. लेकिन मैं आज भी और पहले भी अपने ही जो मेरा प्राइवेट रेजिडेंस है वसीम कुंज जी मैं वहां पे रह रहा हूं मेरे जो बच्चे हैं वो क्योंकि मेरा जो घर वसीम कुंज में है वो डीपीएस के बिल्कुल सामने है और मेरी वाइफ ने और बच्चों ने वहां से शिफ्ट करने के लिए मना कर दिया था तो इसलिए ना मैं कभी जो सिविल लाइन में जो बंगलो है मेरे नाम पे जो लॉटेड है ना मैंने कभी वहां शिफ्ट किया और ना मैं कभी रहा वहां while the Aam Aadmi Party continues to play the victim card and slam BJP for misusing the central agencies. Sara jo mamla hai, wo adalat ke samakch hai. Aur aaj tak ED, CBI, chhape mariyan karti rahi hai, giraftariyan karti rahi hai. Lekin abhi tak koi bhi aisa thos sabut agencies ko nahi mila. Bharati Janata Party का जो पूरा ऑपरेशन है ईडी सीबीआई तो उसके टूल हैं उसके माध्यम है कॉलिंग इट कर्मा द बीजेपी हैज हिट बैक सेइंग आप इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ इट्स ओन एक्शंस देखिए हमारा पहले से मत था कि शराब घोटाले में आम आदमी पार्टी के कई सारे नेता मुख्यमंत्री समेत शामिल हैं और जांच एजेंसी अपना काम कर रही है और कई परदर परत खुलासे हो रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है आप शराब घोटाले में और नए किरदार सामने आएंगे जिस जिसने चोरी की है जिस जिसने भ्रष्टाचार किया है उसे जवाब तो देना ही पड़ेगा विथ द लोकसभा पोल्स जस्ट वीक्स अवे विल द आम आदमी पार्टी एंड द इंडिया अलायंस स्टैंड अ चांस टू स्टैंड टॉल नेक्स्ट टू बीजेपी ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी नमस्कार इसी गांव की संतान परों गांव की मिट्टी में जन्म लेने वाले देश के राष्ट्रपति आदरणीय रामनाथ कोविंद जी आदरणीय श्रीमती सविता कोविंद जी उत्तर प्रदेश की राज्यपाल श्रीमती आनंदीबेन पटेल उत्तर प्रदेश के लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री योगी आदित्यनाथ जी मंच पर विराजमान मंत्रिपरिषद के मेरे साथी उत्तर प्रदेश मंत्रिपरिषद के मंत्रीगण सांसदगण विधायकगण और विशाल संख्या में पधारे आए मेरे प्यारे भाई और बहनों राष्ट्रपति जी ने जब मुझे कहा था कि मुझे यहां आना है तभी से मैं आपके पास आकर के गांव वालों से मिलने का इंतजार कर रहा था आज यहां आकर वाकई मन को बड़ा सुकून मिला बहुत अच्छा लगा इस गांव ने राष्ट्रपति जी का बचपन भी देखा है और बड़े होने पर व्यू ऑफ द क्लॉक स्टिकिंग बिफोर द कोच कन्वीन वंस अगेन टू हियर केजरीवाल्स मैटर एंड इन द रन अप टू गेन सिंपति एंड टू टारगेट द सेंटर द इंडी ब्लॉक लीडर्स हैव प्लान अ मेगा प्रोटेस्ट रैली एट द रामलीला मैदान इन डेली हियर्स अ कंप्लीट रिपोर्ट The stage is set for the indie blocks protest at the Ram Leela Maidan in the national capital. The opposition leaders will come together to decry Kejriwal's arrest by ED in the liquor gates camp. The protest will mark the biggest anti-government protest ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. 
with less than 24 hours to go for the mega indie block protest kalpana soren the wife of another jail chief minister heman soren met sunita kejriwal kalpana soren and jharkhand chief minister champai soren will take part in the rally tomorrow jo sthiti hamari jharkhand mein hai wahi ab yahan delhi mein bhi ho gayi hai तो मैं मैम से सुनीता मैम से मिलने आई थी उनका दुख दर्द बांटने आई थी तो उन्होंने भी अपने व्यथा सुनाई और हम लोगों ने यही मिलकर प्रण किया है कि अब इस लड़ाई को हम लोगों को बहुत दूर तक लेके जाना है जिनपे मैम का भी साथ हमारे साथ रहेगा और हमारा पूरा झारखंड भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सर के साथ भी हमेशा रहेगा लिविंग नो स्टोन अनटर्न डेली मिनिस्टर सौरभ भारद्वाज हिट आउट एट द सेंटर ओवर सोरेन अरेस्ट एज वेल देखिए हेमंत सोरेन जी अपोजिशन के एक बड़े नेता थे और गैर भारतीय जनता पार्टी राज्यों में एक अच्छी सरकार चला रहे थे प्रसिद्ध नेता थे उनको जिस तरीके से केंद्र सरकार ने जेल में डाला वो सब लोगों ने देखा और उसके बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल एक दूसरी राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डाला गया केंद्र सरकार ने इन दोनों के जो हस्बैंड्स थे उनको जेल में डाला है और दोनों ने अपनी स्थिति एक दूसरे के साथ बातचीत की एक दूसरे को हौसला दिया और बड़े अच्छे वातावरण में बातचीत हुई ये तो हद ही हो गई है कि एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को आज केवल किसी के आरोपों के आधार पर उठा करके जेल में डाल दिया गया जिसके आरोप के आधार पर जेल में डाला गया उसको बेल दे दी गई और वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को साठ करोड़ रूपये का जो है चंदा दे देता है तो ये जो पूरा खेल चल रहा है इसके खिलाफ कल इस रामलीला मैदान से पूरा देश भर से इंडिया गठबंधन के लीडर आ रहे हैं दिल्ली के लोग मिल करके अपनी आवाज बुलंद गठबंधन की रैली है किसी एक व्यक्ति केंद्रित रैली नहीं है और इसमें सारे पार्टियां शामिल हैं सारे नेता शामिल हैं और व्यक्ति को बचाने के लिए नहीं है संविधान को बचाने के लिए लोकतंत्र को बचाने के लिए निष्पक्ष चुनाव को बचाने के लिए हम अपने आप को मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी कहते हैं बट जिस तरीके से डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या हो रही है रोज उसके खिलाफ रैली मीन वाइल द बीजेपी हैज स्लैम द ऑपोजिशन क्लैरियन कॉल फॉर अ मेगा रैली कॉलिंग इट अ भ्रष्टाचार बचाओ आंदोलन व्हाट इज दिस रैली इट इज नथिंग बट भ्रष्टाचार बचाओ आंदोलन हु स्लोगन कैन बी करेंगे हम भ्रष्टाचार कहेंगे इसको शिष्टाचार When कार्रवाई takes place, हम चिल्लाएंगे अत्याचार अत्याचार Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri reminded the people of a mega rally held by Anna Hazare a decade back. He called out the duplicity of the Aam Aadmi Party's alliance with Congress, which Kejriwal had called corrupt at the same Ram Leela Maidan. ये rally वहीं हो रही है जहाँ पे मुझे लगता है आज से कोई बारह तेरह वर्ष पहले रामलीला ग्राउंड में अन्ना हजारे जी ने एक आंदोलन चलाया था उस आंदोलन में श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी भी भाग ले रहे थे उस समय वो कहते थे कि वो तो सोशल एक्टिविस्ट हैं और वो कभी राजनीति में नहीं आना चाहते हैं तो उसकी तो बात छोड़िए पहले ये आंदोलन किसके खिलाफ था उस समय सत्ता में कौन सा राजनीतिक दल था अनदर बीजेपी लीडर also hit out at the indi block calling it a ghamandi alliance the indi alliance has absolutely sunk it is nothing but a consortium of ghamandi people who are trying to character assassinate prime minister modi who target the women of our country who are not empathetic towards the youth of our country and have questioned the very belief in our sanatan faith I think the time has come to give them a, a befitting answer and that they will get on the 4th of June. On the other hand, Jammu and Kashmir National Conference also confirmed Farooq Abdullah's participation in the mega Indi Block rally. No, no, India Alliance ke taraf se uh kal Delhi mein Ramleela maidan mein ek program kiya ja raha hai aur National Conference ke taraf se hamare sadar जनाब फारूक अब्दुल्ला साहब वो शिरकत करेंगे उसमें इट्स अ बिग डे टुमारो फॉर द इंडी ब्लॉक इट रिमेन्स टू बी सीन इफ द मेगा रैली वुड ईल्ड एनीथिंग एट ऑल फॉर द ऑपोजिशन ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी
Moving on, the IT trouble on Congress continues to mount after the grand old party was slapped with a fresh notice of 1,800 crore rupees. With the Lok Sabha polls right around the corner, the Congress's story is still the same. It continues to blame the BJP, accusing them of financially crippling the opposition. Here's a comprehensive report of the story. Closer to the 2024 Lok Sabha elections as ever, and tension continues to simmer in the grand old party. A day after Congress was slapped with a fresh IT notice of 1800 crore rupees. From Himachal to Kerala, the party is in a tailspin, with protests erupting against the IT notice. Meanwhile, Congress leaders are recycling the same old worn-out rhetoric, with Rahul Gandhi even making a veiled threat. If you institutions, if you work with your CBI, if you work with your ED, then it won't happen. So you also need to think that they are doing all of them. कि किसी ना किसी दिन बीजेपी की सरकार बदलेगी और फिर कार्रवाई होगी लोकसभा चुनाव के बाद जो केजरीवाल के साथ हुआ है यदि इन लोगों की सरकार बन गई तो ये देश के विपक्ष के नेताओं को बहुतों को तो मार देंगे अधिकतर को जेलों में बंद कर देंगे अब मैं देश की जनता से अपील करूंगा यदि आप चाहते हैं देश में लोकतंत्र फांसी पर नहीं चढ़े आपकी जिम्मेदारी बनती है the BJP, on the other hand, has slammed the Congress for not replying to the notice. But if you have a recognized political party, which has been in the past 70 years, the maximum time, you have to file your assessment. I understand that this is your own. Now, when they are coming to the notice, they are saying, give me the answer to the notice. If you have to go to the public, you will have to go to the press conference. The income tax system is the case of the income tax system. Whether Congress would get a much-needed supreme relief or whether its cash crunch would deepen remains to be seen. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Let's get you up to speed with uh, the other top stories. BJP President J.P. Nadda unveils the election manifesto committee for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, chaired by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Rajasthan Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma joined BJP candidate from Jodhpur Lok Sabha seat, Union Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat in a vibrant road show through Jodhpur. After serving notice to Congress party, the Income Tax Department has now served a notice to Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister and State Congress President D.K. Shivakumar. D.K. Shivkumar has hit out at the BJP for what he says is the misuse of central agencies against the opposition parties. In Kerala, Congress leaders in Ernakulam staged a protest against a hefty 1,800 crore rupees income tax notice served to the Congress party. As the Indi bloc prepares for a mega rally at Delhi's Ramlila Maidan tomorrow, National Conference leader Omar Abdullah confirmed that National Conference leader Farooq Abdullah will participate in the mega rally. Now moving on amid the approach surrounding Supriya Shunet's comment about Kangana Ranaut's rate card, another senior Congress leader and former minister has made a misogynistic remark saying women should be confined to the kitchen. And this has put the leader under fire with the BJP even filing a complaint against him. Now DK Shivkumar has tried to downplay Shamanur Shivshankarappa's remark by saying it was just said in a humorous manner. But along with that, badminton star Saina Nehwal has also slammed the Congress over the misogynistic remarks. Take a look at this report. One day after Congress's senior leader's misogynistic remark. Karnataka's Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivkumar downplayed the misogynist remarks, distancing himself from condemning Shomanur Shivashankarappa. 
including all of them it applies for him also sir come sir give me call sir he doesn't want he is in a humorous way he has said he is a very senior man he respect women we have also given to his grand uh, daughter in law this way he is absolutely downplayed it but also in the beginning of this particular statement before it has been cut off he is also spoken in kannada he states uh, that uh, this applies for shamnur shiv shankarappa as well as all we will not disrespect anybody is what was uh, dk shiv kumar's actual statement and also considering the fact that the congress party respects women this is dk shiv kumar statement in itself he states that a ticket has also been given to his daughter in law meaning to state that prabha malikarjun is also woman and we have given her a ticket as well so this is basically undecided statement coming in from dk shiv kumar as well but uh, absolutely condemnable that he stated that he's made it in a humorous way as well so all said and done now so far shamnur shiv shankarappa has uh, not But uh, you know he's not gone ahead and apologized. Neither is there an official apology coming in from the Congress party. Badminton star Sanya Nehwal condemned the Congress, pointed out the stark contrast between BJP and Congress's approach towards women empowerment. Five days after Supriya Shinate's rate cut comment on Kangana Ranaut. Top Congress leader Shamanur Shivashankarappa has now stoked a fresh controversy with a sexist remark. His misogynistic remarks were directed at BJP's Devangare candidate Gayatri Siddeshwara. The BJP candidate took a strong stance condemning the misogynist remarks. Shamanur Shivashankarappa is a very good paper out there. Our Adiya Mada Kaste Laya Ka Amma ಏನು ಕೆಲಸ ಏನು ಮಾತಾಡಕ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಯಾಕೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಕು ಅನ್ನ ಲೆಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಇವಾಗ ಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಆಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾರುವಂತ ಸ್ಥಿತಿನೂ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲೂ ಅವರು ಮುಂದುವರಿದಿದ್ದಾಳೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅಜ್ಜಂಗ ಇನ್ನೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಆದ್ರೂ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿಟ್ಟು ಗಂಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿರಿಯರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಉಳಿಸಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳುಗಳಿಗೆ ತಿನ್ನಿಸಿ ಅವರನ್ನ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಆ ಕೈ ತತ್ತು ಕೊಡ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಿ ತಾವು ಬಂದು ಈ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ತಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ತಾವು ನಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೋದಿಜಿ ಅವರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಗಾಯ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೇಮ್ ಶಮನು ಶಿವಶಂಕರಪ್ಪ BJP has in fact also lodged a complaint against the Congress legislator. Amnur Shivashankarappa once he faces the backlash I hope that he uh, understands his mistake and uh, apologizes for the same. Is the BJP looking to pursue this speech? Absolutely absolutely the BJP has already complained to the election commission we certainly expect an apology from the Congress party. The long awaited Lok Sabha polls is right around the corner but the Congress has been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. How are these controversies going to shape the stage for Congress ahead of the polls? Bureau report Republic TV
very good evening to all our viewers thank you for tuning into republic tv i'm deepak suresh kumar let's get started with the headlines congress served 1800 crore it notice party hits out says tax terrorism has to stop Congress receives fresh IT notices of over 1800 crore slams BJP for financially strangulating opposition parties during election season Days after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest probe agency questions Delhi minister Kailash Gehlot After US and UN intervenes in Kejriwal's arrest saga vice president Dhankar counters and says look within india doesn't need lessons anger mounts over congress uh, neta's fit to cook jibe at bjp woman leader now saina nehwal slams congress mla trouble mounts for mafia back don sheik shah jahan now in enforcement directorate's custody First up viewers the team to decide PM Modi ki guarantees for the PM's third term for the upcoming polls has been announced the 27 member panel is headed by former BJP president Rajnath Singh the panel consists of top union ministers chief ministers and also former chief ministers reflecting upon the immense experience of governance and delivery that will propel India's growth to a higher level सबसे बड़ी दीवार आर्टिकल 370 की थी इस दीवार को भाजपा की सरकार ने हटा दिया The BJP has announced the team that will make PM Modi's guarantee for the next 5 years The 27 member panel will be headed by former party president Rajnath Singh The power packed panel also has top names in both the center and state government. The list also shows the emphasis that BJP puts on aspiration of states. The PM has also taken the opposition over the manifesto. Hindi alliance ne apna ghoshna patra shakti ko khatam karne ke liye kiya hai. Main is chunauti ko swikar karta hu. और मैं इन सबसे स्वरूपा माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा द पी एम हैज डेलीवर्ड ऑन हिज प्रोमिस एंड विद हिज एम ऑफ मेकिंग विकसित भारत बाई ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन इंडिया इज वेटिंग फॉर पी एम्स विजन डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स आज पूरा हिंदुस्तान जानता है अरे पूरी दुनिया भी मानती है कि मोदी की गारंटी मतलब गारंटी पूरा होने की भी गारंटी ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी well let's shift our focus on madhya pradesh because the election battle for 29 seats in the state has begun with voting set for april 19 the head of this crucial phase the madhya pradesh bjp is aggressively bolstering its ranks claiming significant defections from the congress here's the report The political landscape in Madhya Pradesh witnesses a seismic shift with the first phase scheduled for April 19th. The state BJP claims a mass exodus from the opposition in the last two months. The Madhya Pradesh BJP claims that over 16,000 leadership have jumped ship to the party in just two months. मैं सभी का स्वागत करता हूं, अभिनंदन करता हूं और कुल मिलाकर ये आश्वस्त करता हूं कि आप सरकार के अंदर आपके अच्छे उपयोगी सुझावों में उसका भी पालन करेंगे सरकार के माध्यम से जनता की सेवा करने के लिए आपका भी उपयोग करेंगे आपको हिस्सेदार बनाएंगे मैं साथ ही साथ बहुत सारे मित्र बनाए लंबी लिस्ट है उन सबका भी स्वागत करता हूँ हमारे कांग्रेस के बीस दस्ता की लड़की है 
ऐसे सभी बंधुओं का मैं बहुत स्वागत करता हूँ बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ मोदी जी की ये जो सुनामी चल रही है और मित्रों तो चुनाव के पहले आपने ऐसी सुनामी कभी नहीं देखी हो अगर मैं ये कहूं कि गिरीज बुक की तरह हम उसको देखें कि इसमें कहीं इनाम आती हो तो मध्य प्रदेश देश का वो राज्य है जिसमें सर्वाधिक लोगों ने कांग्रेस छोड़ दी है With a sea of defection from the opposition to BJP translate into significant voter base for the party in the state remains to be seen. Bureau report Republic TV Amidst the phone tapping controversy in Telangana BJP spokesperson NV Subhash alleges that certain bureaucrats particularly from the police department conducted phone tapping to appease the former chief minister K Chandrasekhar Rao Subhash urges Telangana chief minister Revanth Reddy to appoint a judge or establish a three member commission to investigate the matter further so the phone tapping issue has been uh, in um, uh, uh, from uh, BRS party where some of the bureaucrats especially the police department just in order to please their former boss Uh, Mr. KCR, this uh, you know the phone tapping has been done. Revanth Reddy should really uh, uh, appoint a judge or have a three-member uh, you know the commission where the phone tapping issue has been done. Who are the culprits? Who are the beneficiaries? The director of the European Space Agency, Lord Isro, stating, and I quote: "What India is accomplishing in space is astonishing." This commendation highlights the impressive strides made by the Indian Space Agency in the recent years. Yes. Sheet in the Rao's Avenue court concerning money laundering linked to the Delhi Jal Board tender. Among the accused named in the charge sheet are Jagdish Arora, Anil Agarwal and Tajendra Singh along with an NBCC officer named Mittal. The court is scheduled to consider the charge sheet on Monday, April 1. A section of an under construction bridge over the river Ganga in Bulandshahar, Uttar Pradesh collapsed, but fortunately there have been no casualties reported. The DRDO has effectively conducted trials for the next generation Akash missiles. Indian Army has also shared a video of the Akash missile system displaying its target engagement capability. And over the recent years India has been consistently striving to enhance the export of domestically manufactured weapons here's a report In response to the changing nature of warfare in the region the Indian army has released the video of Akash missile system The Akash missile system displays its target engagement capability. The missile system was developed under India's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The missile system is a mid-range surface-to-air missile system built by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. Akash missile system can employ multiple air targets while operating in a fully autonomous mode and this is its advantage. Bureau report Republic TV Moving on the enforcement directorate today question Delhi minister and top Aam Aadmi party leader Kailash Gelot in the Delhi excise policy scam Gelot was grilled for his role in the scam for about 5 hours and his connection with vijay nayar and his role in preparing the draft of the policy that has now been scrapped now the details are in the inside this report ed heat in liquigate case continues to haunt up netas days after delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal's arrest in the liquor policy scam transport minister and up leader kailash gelot was summoned by the enforcement directorate 
Gehloch was questioned for his role in the Delhi excise policy. Gehloch was a part of the panel that prepared the draft of the now scrapped liquor policy for 2021 to 2022. ED claims the draft was leaked to the South Group that paid kickbacks to the Aam Aadmi Party. ED also alleges that Kailash Gehloch allowed Vijay Nair, who was then AAP communication in charge and is one of the accused in the case to use his official residence when the policy was being drafted. Gehloch, just like Arvind Kejriwal, has denied the charges. लेकिन मैं आज भी और पहले भी अपने ही जो मेरा प्राइवेट रेजिडेंस है वसीम कुंज जी मैं वहां पे रह रहा हूं मेरे जो बच्चे हैं वो क्योंकि मेरा जो घर वसीम कुंज में है वो डीपीएस के बिल्कुल सामने है और मेरी वाइफ ने और बच्चों ने वहां से शिफ्ट करने के लिए मना कर दिया था तो इसलिए ना मैं कभी जो सिविल लाइन में जो बंगलो है मेरे नाम पे जो लॉटेड है ना मैंने कभी वहां शिफ्ट किया और ना मैं कभी रहा वहां while the Aam Aadmi Party continues to play the victim card and slam BJP for misusing the central agencies. Sara jo mamla hai, wo adalat ke samakch hai. Aur aaj tak ED, CBI, chhape mariyan karti rahi hai, giraftariyan karti rahi hai. Lekin abhi tak koi bhi aisa thos sabut agencies ko nahi mila. Bharati Janata Party का जो पूरा ऑपरेशन है ईडी सीबीआई तो उसके टूल हैं उसके माध्यम है कॉलिंग इट कर्मा द बीजेपी हैज हिट बैक सेइंग आप इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ इट्स ओन एक्शंस देखिए हमारा पहले से मत था कि शराब घोटाले में आम आदमी पार्टी के कई सारे नेता मुख्यमंत्री समेत शामिल हैं और जांच एजेंसी अपना काम कर रही है और कई परदर परत खुलासे हो रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है अब शराब घोटाले में और नए किरदार सामने आएंगे जिस जिसने चोरी की है जिस जिसने भ्रष्टाचार किया है उसे जवाब तो देना ही पड़ेगा With the Lok Sabha polls just weeks away will the Aam Aadmi Party and the India Alliance stand a chance to stand tall next to BJP Bureau report Republic TV Viewers the clock sticking before the courts convene once again to hear Kejriwal's matter and in the run up to gain sympathy and to target the centre, the Indie Bloc leaders have planned a mega protest rally at the Ram Leela Maidan in Delhi. Here's a complete report. The stage is set for the Indie Bloc's protest at the Ram Leela Maidan in the national capital. The opposition leaders will come together to decry Kejriwal's arrest by ED in the liquor gates camp. The protest will mark the biggest anti-government protest ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. With less than 24 hours to go for the mega indie block protest, Kalpana Soren, the wife of another jail chief minister, Heman Soren, met Sunita Kejriwal. Kalpana Soren and Jharkhand chief minister Champai Soren will take part in the rally tomorrow. जो स्थिति हमारी झारखंड में है वही अब यहां दिल्ली में भी हो गई है तो मैं मैम से सुनीता मैम से मिलने आई थी उनका दुख दर्द बांटने आई थी तो उन्होंने भी अपने व्यथा सुनाई और हम लोगों ने यही मिलकर प्रण किया है कि अब इस लड़ाई को हम लोगों को बहुत दूर तक लेके जाना है जिनमें मैम का भी साथ हमारे साथ रहेगा और हमारा पूरा झारखंड भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सर के साथ भी हमेशा रहेगा लीविंग नो स्टोन अनटर्न डेली मिनिस्टर सौरभ भारद्वाज hit out at the center over Soren's arrest as well. Look, Heman Soren Ji was a big opposition leader. And in the Gair-Bharati Janta Party, he was a good government in the country. He was a great leader. He put him in the way that the Kendra government put him in jail. He saw everyone. And after that, Darwind Kijriwal was another one राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डाला गया केंद्र सरकार ने इन दोनों के जो हस्बैंड्स थे उनको जेल में डाला है और दोनों ने अपनी स्थिति एक दूसरे के साथ बातचीत की एक दूसरे को हौसला दिया और बड़े अच्छे वातावरण में बातचीत हुई ये तो हद ही हो गई है कि एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को आज केवल किसी के आरोपों के आधार पर उठा करके जेल में डाल दिया गया जिसके आरोप के आधार पर जेल में डाला गया उसको बेल दे दी गई और वो 
भारतीय जनता पार्टी को साठ करोड़ रुपए का जो है चंदा दे देता है तो ये जो पूरा खेल चल रहा है इसके खिलाफ कल इस रामलीला मैदान से पूरा देश भर से इंडिया गठबंधन के लीडर आ रहे हैं दिल्ली के लोग मिल करके अपनी आवाज बुलंद बंधन की रैली है किसी एक व्यक्ति केंद्रित रैली नहीं है और इसमें सारे पार्टियां शामिल हैं सारे नेता शामिल हैं और व्यक्ति को बचाने के लिए नहीं है संविधान को बचाने के लिए लोकतंत्र को बचाने के लिए निष्पक्ष चुनाव को बचाने के लिए हम अपने आप को मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी कहते हैं पर जिस तरीके से डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या हो रही है रोज उसके खिलाफ रैली Meanwhile, the BJP has slammed the opposition's clarion call for a mega rally, calling it a bhrashtachar bachao andolan. What is this rally? It is nothing but bhrashtachar bachao andolan. Whose slogan can be "Karenge hum bhrashtachar, kahenge isko shishtachar." When karwai takes place, hum chillenge atyachar atyachar. Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri reminded the people of a mega rally held by Anna Hazare a decade back. He called out the duplicity of the Aam Aadmi Party's alliance with Congress, which Kejriwal had called corrupt at the same Ram Leela Maidan. ये रैली वहीं हो रही है जहाँ पे मुझे लगता है आज से कोई बारह तेरह वर्ष पहले Ram Leela ground में अन्ना हजारे जी ने एक आंदोलन चलाया था. उस आंदोलन में श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी भी भाग ले रहे थे. उस समय वो कहते थे कि वो तो सोशल एक्टिविस्ट हैं और वो कभी राजनीति में नहीं आना चाहते हैं तो उसकी तो बात छोड़िए पहले ये आंदोलन किसके खिलाफ था उस समय सत्ता में कौन सा राजनीतिक दल था अनदर बीजेपी लीडर आल्सो हिट आउट एट द इंडी ब्लॉक कॉलिंग इट अ घमंडी अलायंस द इंडी अलायंस हैज एब्सोल्युटली संक इट इज नथिंग बट अ कंसोर्शियम ऑफ घमंडी पीपल हु आर ट्राइंग टू कैरेक्टर असैसिनेट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हु टारगेट द वुमेन ऑफ आर कंट्री हु आर नॉट एम्पथेटिक टुवर्ड्स द यूथ ऑफ आर कंट्री एंड हैव क्वेश्चन द वेरी बिलीफ इन आर सनातन फेथ आई थिंक द टाइम हैज कम टू गिव देम अ बिफिटिंग आंसर एंड दैट दे विल गेट ऑन द 4th ऑफ जून On the other hand, Jammu and Kashmir National Conference also confirmed Farooq Abdullah's participation in the mega Indi Block rally. No, no. India Alliance के तरफ से कल दिल्ली में रामलीला मैदान में एक प्रोग्राम किया जा रहा है और National Conference के तरफ से हमारे सदर जिना Farooq Abdullah साहब वो शिरकत करेंगे उसमें. It's a big day tomorrow for the Indi Block. It remains to be seen if the mega rally would yield anything at all for the opposition. Bureau report, Republic TV. Moving on, the IT trouble on Congress continues to mount after the grand old party was slapped with a fresh notice of thousand eight hundred crore rupees. With the Lok Sabha polls right around the corner, the Congress's story is still the same. It continues to blame the BJP, accusing them of financially crippling. the opposition here's a comprehensive report of the story closer to the 2024 lok sabha elections as ever and tension continues to simmer in the grand old party a day after congress was slapped with a fresh it notice of 1800 crore rupees from himachal to kerala the party is in a tailspin with protests erupting against the it notice meanwhile Congress leaders are recycling the same old worn out rhetoric with Rahul Gandhi even making a veiled threat agar ye institutions apna kaam karte agar CBI apna kaam karti ED apna kaam karti to ye nahi hota to unko ye bhi sochna chahiye ye wo sab kar rahe hain ki kisi na kisi din BJP ki sarkar badlegi aur phir कार्रवाई लोकसभा चुनाव के बाद जो केजरीवाल के साथ हुआ है यदि इन लोगों की सरकार बन गई तो ये देश के विपक्ष के नेताओं को बहुतों को तो मार देंगे अधिकतर को जेलों में बंद कर देंगे अब मैं देश की जनता से अपील करूंगा यदि आप चाहते हैं देश में लोकतंत्र फांसी पर नहीं चढ़े आपकी जिम्मेदारी बनती है बीजेपी ऑन दर हैंड कांग्रेस अगर आप एक रिकोगनाइज पोलिटिकल पार्टी जो 
पचहत्तर साल के इतिहास में मैक्सिमम टाइम बाद में उन वो अपना असेसमेंट फाइल करना ही भूल जाएं मैं समझता हूं ये अपने आप में है अब जब उनको नोटिस आ रहे हैं तो कह रहे हैं अब नोटिस का जवाब दीजिए ना पब्लिक में जाना प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करने में थोड़ा हो जाएगा जो इनकम टैक्स के विभाग है वो तो आपको एक नोटिस भेजेगा आप नोटिस का जवाब दीजिए whether congress would get a much needed supreme relief or whether its cash crunch would deepen remains to be seen your report republic tv let's get you up to speed with uh, the other top stories bjp president jp nadda unveils the election manifesto committee for the upcoming lok sabha elections chaired by defense minister rajnath singh Rajasthan Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma joined BJP candidate from Jodhpur Lok Sabha seat Union Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat in a vibrant road show through Jodhpur After serving notice to Congress party the income tax department has now served a notice to Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister and State Congress President DK Shivakumar DK Shivakumar has hit out at the BJP for what he says is the misuse of central agencies against the opposition parties In Kerala Congress leaders in Ernakulam staged a protest against a hefty 1800 crore rupees income tax notice served to the Congress party. As the Indi bloc prepares for a mega rally at Delhi's Ramleela Maidan tomorrow national conference leader Omar Abdullah confirmed that national conference leader Farooq Abdullah will participate in the mega rally. I'm moving on amid the approach surrounding Supriya Shunet's comment about Kangana Ranaut's rate card another senior congress leader and former minister has made a misogynistic remark saying women should be confined to the kitchen and this has put the leader under fire with the BJP even filing a complaint against him now DK Shivkumar has tried to downplay Shamanur Shivshankar Appa's remark by saying it was just said in a humorous manner but along with that badminton star Saina Nehwal has also slammed the congress over the misogynistic remarks take a look at this report one day after congress's senior leader's misogynistic remark ee madha samruddhi gatla maadi ore madha pandrasare oyagi madha kala dosto saga pandrasare madha Karnataka's Deputy Chief Minister DK Shivkumar downplayed the misogynist remarks distancing himself from condemning Shamanur Shivashankarappa including all of them it applies for him also sir come sir gave a order sir he doesn't want he is in a humorous way he has said he is a very senior man he respect women we have also given to his grand uh, daughter in law this way he's absolutely downplayed it but also in the beginning of this particular statement before it has been cut off he's also spoken in kannada he states uh, that uh, this applies for shamnur shivshankarappa as well as all we will not disrespect anybody is what was uh, dk shivkumar's actual statement and also considering the fact that the congress party respects women this is dk shivkumar's statement in itself he states that a ticket has also been given to his daughter in law meaning to state that prabha malikarjun is also woman and we have given her a ticket as well so this is basically undecided statement coming in from dk shivkumar as well but uh, absolutely condemnable that he stated that he's made it in a humorous way as well so all said and done now so far shamnur shivshankarappa has uh, not Uh, you know he's not gone ahead and apologized neither is there an official apology coming in from the congress party badminton star sanya nehwal condemned the congress pointed out the stark contrast between bjp and congress's approach towards women empowerment 5 days after supriya shanate's rate cut comment on kangana ranaut top congress leader shamanur shivashankarappa has now stoked a fresh controversy with a sexist remark his misogynistic remarks were directed at bjp's devangare candidate gayatri siddeshwara the bjp candidate took a strong stance condemning the misogynist remarks shamanur shivashankarappa yes paper out kodidare avaru adige maada kashta illa ayakka amma ಏನು ಕೆಲಸ ಏನು ಮಾತಾಡಕ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಯಾಕೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊ
ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಆಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾರೋಂಥ ಸ್ಥಿತಿನೂ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದರಲ್ಲೂ ಅವರು ಮುಂದುವರೆದಿದ್ದಾಳೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅಜ್ಜಂಗ ಇನ್ನೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಆದರೂ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಡುಗೆ ಮಾಡಿಟ್ಟು ಗಂಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿರಿಯರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಉಳಿಸಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳುಗಳಿಗೆ ತಿನ್ನಿಸಿ ಅವರನ್ನು ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಕೈ ತುತ್ತು ಕೊಡ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಿ ತಾವು ಬಂದು ಈ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ತಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲ ಮೇಲೆ ತಾವು ನಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಅಂದರೆ ಮೋದಿಜಿ ಅವರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೇಮ್ಡ್ ಶಮನು ಶಿವಶಂಕರಪ್ಪ BJP has in fact also lodged a complaint against the Congress legislator. Amnur Shiv Shankarappa once he faces the backlash I hope that he uh, understands his mistake and uh, apologizes for the same. Is the BJP looking to pursue this feeling? Absolutely absolutely the BJP has already complained to the election commission we certainly expect an apology from the Congress party. The long awaited Lok Sabha polls is right around the corner but the Congress has been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. How are these controversies going to shape the stage for Congress ahead of the polls? Bureau Report, Republic TV. राष्ट्रपति महोदय आपकी आज्ञा हो तो इस अलंकरण समारोह की कार्यवाही प्रारंभ की जाए धन्यवाद आज के अलंकरण समारोह का आयोजन भारत रत्न प्रदान करने के लिए किया गया है सर्वप्रथम श्री पीवी नरसिंह राव मरणोपरांत उनके पुत्र श्री पीवी प्रभाकर राव चौधरी चरण सिंह मरनो A very good evening to all our viewers. Thank you for tuning in to Republic TV. I'm Deepak Suresh Kumar. Let's get started with the headlines. Congress served 1800 crore IT notice party hits out says tax terrorism has to stop. Congress receives fresh IT notices of over 1800 crore slams BJP for financially strangulating opposition parties during election season Days after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest probe agency questions Delhi minister Kailash Gehlot After US and UN intervenes in Kejriwal's arrest saga vice president Dhankar 
counters and says, look within, India doesn't need lessons. Anger mounts over Congress uh, Neta's fit to cook jibe at BJP woman leader. Now, Saina Neval slams Congress MLA. Trouble mounts for mafia back Don Sheikh Shah Jahan. Now in enforcement directorate's custody. First up, viewers, the team to decide. PM Modi ki guarantees for the PM's third term for the upcoming polls has been announced. The 27-member panel is headed by former BJP President Rajnath Singh. The panel consists of top union ministers, chief ministers and also former chief ministers reflecting upon the immense experience of governance and delivery that will propel India's growth to a higher level. सबसे बड़ी दीवार आर्टिकल 370 की थी इस दीवार को भाजपा की सरकार ने हटा दिया the bjp has announced the team that will make pm modi's guarantee for the next 5 years the 27 member panel will be headed by former party president rajnath singh the power-packed panel also has top names in both the centre and state government. The list also shows the emphasis that BJP puts on aspiration of states. The PM has also taken the opposition over the manifesto. The PM has delivered on his promises and with his aim of making Vixen Bharat by 2047, India is waiting for PM's vision document for the next five years. Aaj pura Hindustan janta hai, are puri dunia bhi maanti hai ki Modi ki guarantee matlab Guarantee pura hone ki bhi guarantee. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Well, let's shift our focus on Madhya Pradesh because the election battle for 29 seats in the state has begun with voting set for April 19th. Ahead of this crucial phase, the Madhya Pradesh BJP is aggressively bolstering its ranks, claiming significant defections from the Congress. Here's the report. The political landscape in Madhya Pradesh witnesses a seismic shift. With the first phase scheduled for April 19th, the state BJP claims a mass exodus from the opposition in the last two months. The Madhya Pradesh BJP claims that over 16,000 leadership have jumped ship to the party in just two months. मैं सभी का स्वागत करता हूं, विनम्रता करता हूं, और कुल मिलाकर ये आश्वस्त करता हूं कि आप सरकार के अंदर आपके अच्छे उपयोगी सुझावों का उसका भी पालन करेंगे, सरकार के माध्यम से जनता की सेवा करने के लिए आपका भी उपयोग करेंगे, आपको इससे दाम बनाएंगे। मैं साथ ही साथ बहुत सारे मित्र बनाए, लंबी लिस्ट ह� मोदी जी की ये जो सुनामी चल रही है पर मित्रों चुनाव के पहले आपने ऐसी सुनामी कभी नहीं देखी हो अगर मैं ये कहूं कि गिरीज बुक की तरह हम उसको देखें कि इसमें कहीं इनाम आती हो तो मध्य प्रदेश देश का वो राज्य है जिसमें सर्वाधिक लोगों ने कांग्रेस छोड़ दी है with a sea of defection from the opposition to BJP translate into significant water base for the party in the state remains to be seen. Bureau Report, Republic TV.
Amidst the phone tapping controversy in Telangana, BJP spokesperson NV Subhash alleges that certain bureaucrats, particularly from the police department, conducted phone tapping to appease the former Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Subhash urges Telangana Chief Minister Revant Reddy to appoint a judge or establish a three member commission to investigate the matter further. The phone tapping issue has been uh, in um, uh, uh, from uh, BRS party where some of the bureaucrats, especially the police department, just in order to please their former boss, uh, Mr. KCR, this, uh, you know, the phone tapping has been done. Revan Reddy should really uh, uh, appoint a judge or have a three-member, uh, you know, the commission where the phone tapping issue has been done. Who are the culprits? Who are the beneficiaries? The director of the European Space Agency lords ISRO stating, and I quote, what India is accomplishing in space is astonishing. This commendation highlights the impressive strides made by the Indian Space Agency in the recent years. EDS Sheed in the Rao's Avenue Court concerning money laundering linked to the Delhi Jal Boat tender. Among the accused named in the charge sheet are Jagdish Arora, Anil Agarwal and Tajendra Singh along with an NBCC officer named Mittal. The court is scheduled to consider the charge sheet on Monday, April 1st. A section of an under-construction bridge over the river Ganga in Bulansher, Uttar Pradesh collapsed. But fortunately, there have been no casualties reported. The DRDO has effectively conducted trials for the next generation Akash missiles. Indian Army has also shared a video of the Akash missile system displaying its target engagement capability. And over the recent years, India has been consistently striving to enhance the export of domestically manufactured weapons. Here's a report. In response to the changing nature of warfare in the region, the Indian Army has released the video of Akash Missile System. The Akash Missile System displays its target engagement capability. The missile system was developed under India's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The missile system is a mid-range surface-to-air missile system built by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. Akash missile system can employ multiple air targets while operating in a fully autonomous mode and this is its advantage. Bureau Report, Republic TV Moving on, the Enforcement Directorate today questioned Delhi Minister and top Amadmi Party leader Kailash Gelot in the Delhi excise policy scam. Gelot was grilled for his role in the scam for about five hours and his connection with Vijay Nair and his role in preparing the draft of the policy that has now been scrapped. Now the details are in the, inside this report. ED heat in Liquigate case continues to haunt up Netas. Days after Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the liquor policy scam. Transport Minister and AAP leader Kailash Gelot was summoned by the Enforcement Directorate. Gelot was questioned for his role in the Delhi excise policy. Gelot was a part of the panel that prepared the draft of the now scrapped liquor policy for 2021 to 2022. ED claims the draft was leaked to the South Group that paid kickbacks to the Aam Aadmi Party. ED also alleges that Kailash Gerloth allowed Vijay Nair, who was then AAP communication in charge and is one of the accused in the case, to use his official residence when the policy was being drafted. Gerloth, just like Arvind Kejriwal, has denied the charges. <laughs> लेकिन मैं आज भी और पहले भी अपने ही जो मेरा प्राइवेट रेजिडेंस है वकील कुंज मैं वहां पे रह रहा हूं मेरे जो बच्चे हैं वो 
क्योंकि मेरा जो घर बसनुगुज में है वो डी पी एस के बिल्कुल सामने है और मेरी वाइफ ने और बच्चों ने वहाँ से शिफ्ट करने के लिए मना कर दिया था तो इसलिए ना मैं कभी आ, आ, जो सिविल लाइन में जो बंगलो है मेरे नाम पे जो लॉटेड है ना आ, मैंने कभी वहाँ शिफ्ट किया और ना मैं कभी रहा वहाँ वाइल्ड आम आदमी पार्टी कंटिन्यूज टू प्ले दिक्टिम कार्ड एंड स्लैम बीजेपी फॉर मिस यूजिंग देंट्रल एजेंसी सारा जो मामला है वो अदालत के समक्ष है और आज तक ईडी सीबीआई छापेमारियां करती रही हैं गिरफ्तारियां करती रही हैं लेकिन अभी तक कोई भी ऐसा ठोस सबूत एजेंसियों को नहीं मिला भारतीय जनता पार्टी का जो पूरा ऑपरेशन है ईडी सीबीआई तो उसके टूल हैं, उसके माध्यम है कॉलिंग इट करमा द बीजेपी हैज हिट बैक saying aap is suffering from the consequences of its own actions dekhiye hamara pehle se mat tha ki sharab ghotale mein aap hum bhi party ke kai sare neta mukhyamantri samay shamil hain aur jaanch agency apna kaam kar rahi hai aur kai parat dar parat khulase ho rahe hain to mujhe lagta hai ab sharab ghotale mein aur naye kirdar samne aayenge jis jisne chori ki hai jis jisne bhrashtachar kiya hai use jawab to dena hi padega with the lok sabha polls just weeks away will the aam aadmi party and the india alliance stand a chance to stand tall next to bjp bureau report republic tv viewers the clock sticking before the courts convene once again to hear kgwal's matter and in the run up to gain sympathy and to target the center the indi block leaders have planned a mega protest rally at the ram leela maidan in delhi here's a complete report The stage is set for the Indi Blocks protest at the Ram Leela Maidan in the national capital. The opposition leaders will come together to decry Kejriwal's arrest by ED in the Liquor Gates camp. The protest will mark the biggest anti-government protest ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. With less than 24 hours to go for the mega Indi Block protest, Kalpana Soren the wife of another jail chief minister heman soren met sunita kejriwal kalpana soren and jharkhand chief minister champai soren will take part in the rally tomorrow jo sthiti hamari jharkhand mein hai wahi ab yahan delhi mein bhi ho gayi hai तो मैं मैम से सुनीता मैम से मिलने आई थी उनका दुख दर्द बांटने आई थी तो उन्होंने भी अपने व्यथा सुनाई और हम लोगों ने यही मिलकर प्रण किया है कि अब इस लड़ाई को हम लोगों को बहुत दूर तक लेके जाना है जिनपे मैम का भी साथ हमारे साथ रहेगा और हमारा पूरा झारखंड भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सर के साथ भी हमेशा रहेगा लिविंग नो स्टोन अनटर्न डेली मिनिस्टर सौरभ भारद्वाज हिट आउट एट द सेंटर ओवर सोरेन अरेस्ट एज वेल देखिए हेमंत सोरेन जी अपोजिशन के एक बड़े नेता थे और गैर भारतीय जनता पार्टी राज्यों में एक अच्छी सरकार चला रहे थे प्रसिद्ध नेता थे उनको जिस तरीके से केंद्र सरकार ने जेल में डाला वो सब लोगों ने देखा और उसके बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल एक दूसरी राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डाला गया केंद्र सरकार ने इन दोनों के जो हस्बैंड्स थे उनको जेल में डाला है और दोनों ने अपनी स्थिति एक दूसरे के साथ बातचीत की एक दूसरे को हौसला दिया और बड़े अच्छे वातावरण में बातचीत हुई ये तो हद ही हो गई है कि एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को आज केवल किसी के आरोपों के आधार पर उठा करके जेल में डाल दिया गया जिसके आरोप के आधार पर जेल में डाला गया उसको बेल दे दी गई और वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को साठ करोड़ रूपये का जो है चंदा दे देता है तो ये जो पूरा खेल चल रहा है इसके खिलाफ कल इस रामलीला मैदान से पूरा देश भर से इंडिया गठबंधन के लीडर आ रहे हैं दिल्ली के लोग मिल करके अपनी आवाज बुलंद गठबंधन की रैली है किसी एक व्यक्ति केंद्रित रैली नहीं है और इसमें सारे पार्टियां शामिल हैं सारे नेता शामिल हैं और व्यक्ति को बचाने के लिए नहीं है संविधान को बचाने के लिए लोकतंत्र को बचाने के लिए निष्पक्ष चुनाव को बचाने के लिए हम अपने आप को मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी कहते हैं पर जिस तरीके से डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या हो रही है रोज उसके खिलाफ मीन वाइल द बीजेपी हैज स्लैम द ऑपोजिशन क्लैरियन कॉल फॉर अ मेगा रैली कॉलिंग इट अ भ्रष्टाचार बचाओ आंदोलन वॉट इज दिस रैली 
इट इज नथिंग बट भ्रष्टाचार बचाओ आंदोलन हु स्लोगन कैन बी करेंगे हम भ्रष्टाचार कहेंगे इसको शिष्टाचार वेन कार्रवाई टेक्स प्लेस हम चिल्लाएंगे अत्याचार अत्याचार यूनियन मिनिस्टर हरदीप सिंह पुरी रिमाइंड द पीपल ऑफ अ मेगा रैली हेल्ड बाय अन्ना हजारे अ डेकेट बैक He called out the duplicity of the Aam Aadmi Party's alliance with Congress, which Kejriwal had called corrupt at the same Ram Leela Maidan. ये रैली वहीं हो रही है जहाँ पे मुझे लगता है आज से कोई बारह तेरह वर्ष पहले Ram Leela Ground में अन्ना हजारे जी ने एक आंदोलन चलाया था. उस आंदोलन में श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी भी भाग ले रहे थे. उस समय वो कहते थे कि वो तो सोशल एक्टिविस्ट हैं और वो कभी राजनीति में नहीं आना चाहते हैं तो उसकी तो बात छोड़िए पहले ये आंदोलन किसके खिलाफ था उस समय सत्ता में कौन सा राजनीतिक दल था अनदर बीजेपी लीडर आल्सो हिट आउट एट द इंडी ब्लॉक कॉलिंग इट अ घमंडी अलायंस द इंडी अलायंस हैज एब्सोल्युटली संक इट इज नथिंग बट अ कंसोर्शियम ऑफ घमंडी पीपल हु आर ट्राइंग टू कैरेक्टर असैसिनेट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हु टारगेट द वुमेन ऑफ आवर कंट्री हु आर नॉट एम्पथेटिक टुवर्ड्स द यूथ ऑफ आवर कंट्री एंड हैव क्वेश्चन द वेरी बिलीफ इन आवर सनातन फेथ आई थिंक द टाइम हैज कम टू गिव देम अ बिफिटिंग आंसर एंड दैट दे विल गेट ऑन द 4th ऑफ जून On the other hand, Jammu and Kashmir National Conference also confirmed Farooq Abdullah's participation in the mega Indi Block rally. No, no. India Alliance के तरफ से कल दिल्ली में रामलीला मैदान में एक प्रोग्राम किया जा रहा है और National Conference के तरफ से हमारे सदर जिना Farooq Abdullah साहब वो शिरकत करेंगे उसमें. It's a big day tomorrow for the Indi Block. It remains to be seen if the mega rally would yield anything at all for the opposition. Bureau report, Republic TV. Moving on, the IT trouble on Congress continues to mount after the grand old party was slapped with a fresh notice of thousand eight hundred crore rupees. With the Lok Sabha polls right around the corner, the Congress's story is still the same. It continues to blame the BJP, accusing them of financially crippling. the opposition here's a comprehensive report let's get you up to speed with uh, the other top stories bjp president jp nadda unveils the election manifesto committee for the upcoming lok sabha elections chaired by defense minister rajnath singh Rajasthan Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma joined BJP candidate from Jodhpur Lok Sabha seat Union Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat in a vibrant road show through Jodhpur After serving notice to Congress party the income tax department has now served a notice to Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister and State Congress President DK Shivakumar DK Shivakumar has hit out at the BJP for what he says is the misuse of central agencies against the opposition parties In Kerala Congress leaders in Ernakulam staged a protest against a hefty 1800 crore rupees income tax notice served to the Congress party. As the Indi bloc prepares for a mega rally at Delhi's Ramleela Maidan tomorrow National Conference leader Omar Abdullah confirmed that National Conference leader Farooq Abdullah will participate in the mega rally. Now moving on amid the approach surrounding Supriya Shunet's comment about Kangana Ranaut's rate card another senior congress leader and former minister has made a misogynistic remark saying women should be confined to the kitchen and this has put the leader under fire with the BJP even filing a complaint against him now DK Shivkumar has tried to downplay Shamanur Shivshankar Appa's remark by saying it was just said in a humorous manner but along with that badminton star Saina Nehwal has also slammed the congress over the misogynistic remarks take a look at this report one day after congress's senior leader's misogynistic remark <laughs> 
Karnataka's Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar downplayed the misogynist remarks, distancing himself from condemning Shomanur Shivashankarappa. Including all of them, it applies for him also. Sir, come sir. He, gave a sir. he doesn't want, he is in a humorous way, he has said. He is a very senior man. He respects women. We have also given to his grand uh, daughter in law. Humorous way, he's absolutely downplayed it, but also in the beginning of this particular statement, before it has been cut off, he's also spoken in Kannada. He states uh, that uh, this applies for Shamnur Shiv Shankrapa as well as all. We will not disrespect anybody is what was uh, D.K. Shivkumar's actual statement. And also considering the fact that the Congress party respects women, this is D.K. Shivkumar's statement in itself. He states that a ticket has also been given to his daughter-in-law, meaning to state that Prabha Malik Arjun is also a woman and we have given her a ticket as well. So this is basically undecided statement coming in from D.K. Shivkumar as well, but uh, absolutely condemnable that he stated that he's made it in a humorous way as well. So all said and done now, so far Shamnur Shivshankrapa has uh, not uh, you know, he's not gone ahead and apologized. Neither is there an official apology coming in from the Congress party. Badminton star Sanya Neval condemned the Congress, pointed out the stark contrast between BJP and Congress's approach towards women empowerment. Five days after Supriya Shanate's rate cut comment on Kangana Ranaut, Top Congress leader Shamanur Shivashankarappa has now stoked a fresh controversy with a sexist remark. His misogynistic remarks were directed at BJP's Devangare candidate Gayatri Siddeshwara. The BJP candidate took a strong stance, condemning the misogynist remarks. <laughs> BJP leaders backed Gayatri and shamed Shamanu Shivashankarappa. BJP has in fact also lodged a complaint against the Congress legislator. Amnur Shankarappa, once he faces the backlash, I hope that he uh, understands his mistake and uh, apologizes for the same. Is the BJP looking to pursue this freedom? Absolutely, absolutely. The BJP has already complained to the election commission. We certainly expect an apology from the Congress party. The long-awaited Lok Sabha polls is right around the corner, but the Congress has been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. How are these controversies going to shape the stage for Congress ahead of the polls? Bureau Report, Republic TV. The mobile phone subscriber base of India, which runs in crores, has seen a revolution. A shocking revolution that 30% of respondents get 1 to 2 spam calls on average day. 36% of mobile phone subscribers have said that they receive 3 to 5 spam calls almost every day. So where are these pesky calls coming from and who are these anonymous callers? The Department of Telecommunications or DOT has issued an advisory to mobile phone subscribers alarming them that there has been an increase in number of unknown calls, pesky calls being received by them. The DOT has issued an advisory underlining that phone calls are being received where callers, anonymous callers identify themselves as government officials as representatives of the Department of Telecommunication. The caller in dark. The anonymous caller is telling mobile subscribers that their mobile phone connections will be discontinued. The cybercrime prevention measures of the Department of Telecommunication are already operational. The government advisory has asked mobile phone subscribers to report 
all such anonymous calls to cybercrime helpline numbers. As per the telecom department, calls are being received by citizens wherein callers call repeatedly, threatening these gullible subscribers that mobile phone connections could be discontinued any time now. Yet another trend that has come to the fore from the Department of Telecommunications Advisory is that there are calls on WhatsApp from foreign origin numbers that are being received by mobile phone subscribers in India. The modus operandi is the same. The caller from a WhatsApp call tells the receiver that you have violated norms and are misusing your mobile phone connection. Hence, your mobile number will be barred, disconnected. Notably, as per a recent study, more than 60% of India's population received three or more pesky or spam calls on average every day during the last 12 months. The Pan-India survey conducted by local circles among 60,000 respondents who are all cell phone subscribers in 378 districts of India has some startling revelations. The findings of the survey have revealed that 30% of respondents receive at least one to two spam calls every day. 36% of the subscribers have said that they get a minimum of three to five spam calls every day. In view of the growing menace of spam calls, fraudulent calls and pesky phone calls, the Department of Telecommunications Advisory says WhatsApp calls from foreign origin numbers must be avoided. Mobile phone subscribers have been time and again been told not to receive anonymous calls from international numbers, which could be audio calls or even video calls on WhatsApp platform. The DOT advisory says, and I quote, In the name of DOT, people are threatening that subscribers' mobile numbers will be discontinued or their mobile numbers would be misused in some illegal activities. Hindu dharm mein shakti shabd hota hai. Hum shakti se lad rahe hai. Ek shakti se lad rahe hai. A very good evening to all our viewers. Thank you for tuning in to Republic TV. I'm Deepak Suresh Kumar. Let's get started with the headlines. Congress served 1,800 crore IT notice. Party hits out, says tax terrorism has to stop.